Okay, hello everybody. As always, this is the preview start of the stream. I doubt anyone's even here yet, but just in case, I'm still getting everything set up and I will be taking questions as we go. <clears throat> there was an echo there, shit. Oh, I need to change the title. Evil Within 2, new game start, Evil Within 2. Let me tweet out some stuff. How's it going, everybody? Everybody good? Test chat entry, please ignore. Nope. Nope. You're not my dad. So we're starting the Evil Within 2 today. Who's excited? Will there be a spooky safe in Evil Within 2? Who knows? Do you hate it when you're trying to trying to move like a minimized window to the corner of your screen and then as soon as it hits there it just automatically maximizes again? Like, who, who was like, who thought that was a feature that was good? Maybe there's a reason for it that I'm too stupid to understand. How many Dark Souls references? <laughs> hey, I find it, I find it hard to make, uh, to make solid Dark Souls references. It's, it's maybe, maybe, maybe that joke has been worn out at this point. Not that that implies it was ever good to begin with, but you know what I mean. Okay, I can see Twitch. I can see chat. I can see my Moobot list. I can see OBS, a little sliver between all the windows. So that's about it. Yeah, this is not Zelda. It's it's changed now, right? It's updated to Evil Within 2 and everything. It should be updated. Yep, it is. Okay, it's that right. Let me tweet it out and let me Discord it up. I think I'll probably do want to make an ad ever an ad here for this one because it's a new game. Right now, evil within two first stream. Starting a new game right now, Evil Within 2 first stream, going for a few hours. There we go. Cool. And let's at here. That's it, right? I think everything's in order. <clears throat> Any plan to try Destiny 2 on PC? Uh, yeah, is it out? Did it come out today? Or is it tomorrow? I have it. I bought it. I, I bought it thinking it was going to come out in September for PC. And then it's like, nope. Fuck you. Is it out? Shit. I wish we had more time between uh, now and Odyssey. I would have played Destiny 2 today. Unlocks 1 p.m. Eastern? Ah, oh, okay. That really sucks. Maybe if uh, we get Evil Within 2 done in two days, maybe we'll play that on Thursday. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, I think that's everything, right? Yep. 
so we're good. I heard the first Evil Within was met. You heard wrong. It's actually pretty good. However, if you don't like third-person shooters, um, then yeah. If, if, if you didn't like Resident Evil 4, then yeah, it, it, it is kind of meh. Like, but that's every game, right? Like, no, no, no game is going to appeal to everybody. Is there a game that everybody likes? Does everybody like one game? What's a game that everybody likes? Uh, as Azarus? I'm assuming the four is meant to be an A. Thank you very much for the subscription. As 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 a as a Rus, as a Rius? I think it's as a Rus, right? Thank you very much. Skyrim, Jedi Knight Two, Tetris. I think Tetris is kind of boring. So, not Tetris Attack because Lily is listening and it'll be and she'll be upset if I badmouth Tetris Attack. But I think Tetris is kind of boring. Okay, so it says continue because I played the game for literally 20 seconds just just to do an audio check so i have no idea what happens like there was a there was a burning house that's it so burn like that's it so i did an audio check so i have no idea what happens in this game at 11.05 maybe i'll do a, um, a summary of what happened in the first game so we're all on the same page is there anyone in chat right now who's watching who did not see the streams of the first game Hello, I am Todd, Hentai Senpai. This score brought me. Oh, how's it going? Hello, I am Todd. Are you Todd? Oh boy, we are playing The Evil Within 2 now. I'm not sure if that's enthusiasm or disgust or I don't know what that is. Okay, so there's quite a few people that didn't see the first stream. Okay, so we'll go over the story of the first game. It won't, it won't take too long. And then we will start this the, this one. So we're all on the same page. More like enthusiasm. Okay, cool. I didn't. I should have known because there was there wasn't a gray face. But yeah. Yeah, I doubt there'll be there there will be videos on these games anytime soon. I have I have so much to do right now, so much to do. I think that maybe um, I'm not gonna get the hob video done in time to for for this week. So I might have to uh, release a video I already made because I really want a video to go up this week. And if I don't do it this week, then there's not going to be a video for the whole month. So I think um, I think I'm going to release my Steven Sausage Roll video, but we'll see. If I can if I can pull an all nighter tonight, well, an all nighter and sleep like maybe two or three hours, so I can actually stream tomorrow because it's really it's really important right now that I, that I, that I stream every day. I'm trying really trying to make it a thing. Um, maybe I can get the hob video done, but I, I I need the video up on Thursday, and that means it needs to go up on Wednesday. Um, because Patreon gets it a day early, but maybe they'd be okay with getting it only 12 hours early. Like usually they're okay with that. Most patrons only watch it in the first 12 hours in the, in the first 12 hours. Anyway, the second 12 hours, most patrons don't really take advantage of that. Uh, Alec Ninja just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. Alec Ninja. So how does Twitch Prime work? Do Twitch Prime, you get a subscription that you can spend every month through that, or someone said it was linked with Amazon, I think, because Twitch is owned by Amazon, or they're owned by the same same people. You never check Patreon, so I'm always late to the party anyway. Ah, oh. it's a token to use. Cool, that's neat. Did I like the first game? I played it and wasn't very satisfied. Yeah, I really liked the first game. I didn't love it, but I really liked it. I thought I thought that the um, I thought that it was good. Um, story was kind of no, but the gameplay was good. Um, I, I if I if I was to make a video, and again, I I probably won't. But if I was to make a video, I would say that the biggest problem the Evil Within has is that it is a gameplay driven game that presents itself as a story driven game. So. Like, even when I started playing it, I, I thought, okay, the gameplay is going to be kind of in the background. It's just going to be serviceable to do whatever, just to tell this wacky story. Whereas, it's the complete opposite. It is very much focused on getting you into gameplay situations that sometimes relate to the story. 
<clears throat> so that I think that's a big problem, and that maybe that's why it reviewed poorly because you you expect it to be this big story driven thing, and it's not. It is very focused on gameplay. Uh, what difficulty will you be playing it on? Uh, everyone told me to play it on Nightmare, so we're gonna play it on Nightmare. That's the hardest difficulty. Uh, apparently, survival's too easy, so we're gonna play it on Nightmare. And uh, if if it's too difficult, then we'll turn it down, I guess. But we should be fine. I might die a bunch, but we're okay. New patron, by the way. What do you mean by opting in? Opting in? Um, did I say opting in? Uh, patrons get videos um, early, like a day early. That's what I was talking about with with patron with patrons. I'm not sure about opting in. Maybe I misspoke. I'm sorry, Donut Sandwich. That's a cool name, by the way. What is the Patreon feature you're talking about that people only do for the first 12 hours? Okay, so um, every new video that I make, main video, gets patrons get to see it uh, 24 hours early. So it goes up. Say, say there's going to be a video released Saturday at noon. Well, it actually gets released Friday at noon. And patrons get to watch it for 24 hours. And then it goes public on Saturday. That's what all the videos have been like since um, Breath of the Wild. I think Breath of the Wild, maybe the one after Breath of the Wild. That's 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 the feature that's been there. Um, but most patrons watch it in the first twelve hours of early access. So the, for the twenty-four hours that it's early, after the first twelve hours, there's very few views. Like very few patrons watch it in the in the in the second half of the twenty-four hours that it's early. I know that's kind of kind of a little obscure to say it, but yeah, that's 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 what I've noticed. Do you have a favorite area from the first game? Yeah, the beginning. I, I really like the open areas in, in, in the forest and when there was a lot of houses to move through and you could stealth and and, um, and ambush people from different sides. Th those were my favorite areas. They were really good. <clears throat> Play on Classic. Apparently Classic is ball-bustingly difficult. I don't think I have Classic. I think you have to beat the game for Classic. Uh, stupid question. Do you ever get super scared and start freaking out in horror games like I do? Uh, not really. If I was playing it in the dark alone, like, in a rundown house that may be haunted, even though I don't believe in ghosts. Well, I say don't believe in ghosts. There are no ghosts. It's not about belief. Um, like, I would probably get a little creeped out, but, you know, I'm, I'm in a fairly, well, it's not really that well lit in here, but I'm in, 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 a, in, a, in, in a, in a fairly well lit room talking to you guys having a conversation ongoing so you know it's it's not really scary um i don't like jump scares i don't like being startled but there are a bunch of jump scares in the first game that did absolutely nothing to me so maybe it's because i'm i'm having the the conversation going or maybe it's just that I, i'm just i've just gathered up an immunity to jump scares at this point but we'll see maybe maybe one of them will get me today and i'll start screaming and everyone will make fun of me ah ah uh, Winston Smith, 1987, just subscribed. Thank you very much, Winston Smith. 1987, us, us, us old guys have to stick together. We have to stick together, Winston Smith. Wasn't here for the second DLC. How did you like it? And did the story of, and were the story reveals satisfying for you? Uh, second DLC was probably better than the first one. Um, I liked the ending of the DLC more than the ending of the base game. I thought that was a better final boss and a better ending overall. Um, but overall, the DLC wasn't as good as the main game, even if it did end better. So, yeah. A real streamer would peek his mic screen every, every 30 seconds. <laughs> um, Hamish Black, the guy who does writing on games, had a tweet a while ago where he was looking through YouTube's uh, guides of how of how to how to engage your audience, and he made a really good joke about how YouTube suggests that you try to remind people to like, comment, and subscribe at a big emotional high point moment in, in whatever you're playing or whatever you're doing, like like a, like a big scare or anything. And he was like, and I made this joke on stream the other day, he's like, you know, when you, when you get scared, you go, ah, 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 subscribe, ah, ah, follow me on Twitter, ah, ah, oh, I'm so scared, ah, follow me on Twitter, <laughs> you know? So that's that's what, it's like, I, I thought that was really funny that he did that on, on Twitter. Um, but yeah, I'm never going to be like that. No. <clears throat> never. Which you like more, Hollow Knight or Breath of the Wild? Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight. 
Sneezing was the scariest part of you than one. Yeah, I need to I need to be better at warning when I'm about to sneeze. I don't really sneeze that much. Oh, my question was about the five dollar tier. Your name. Make sure to opt in if you use your real name. Plus the reward tiers below this. Okay, so um, there are two there are two ways to opt in. Either you opt in on Patreon itself, and it says what reward tier would you like, and you say that's what I want when you when when you pledge. Um, that's opting in. That's fine. You are opted in. But the reward tiers went up after I already had quite a few patrons. So if if they needed if they wanted the real name displayed, I needed an email from them or a comment from them because I'm not gonna like dock somebody with their real name. Um, but I th yeah, right right now just just saying that that's the reward tier that you want when when you pledge is that that's enough. Um, you'll be on a list in the back end of people that said, yeah, I, I want that reward tier. So that's the opt-in because if you do, like, I, I'm not going to put real names up on the screen um, if without permission. Um, if you do go that high and you don't opt-in, then I just initialize your last name. So you're still included. <clears throat> uh, Sulskin23 just subscribed. Thank you very much, Sulskin. Thank you for the subscription. Hi, you must stop streaming. It's so good. I must watch it and I can't get anything done. Oh, I'm sorry. You can you can watch the VODs though, if if you, you know, and you can drip feed the VODs. It's probably not the same, but thank you. How long do you think you're going to play the game today? I just started a few days ago myself and rather finish the game first myself before you get ahead of me on stream, so nothing will be spoiled and I can still watch. Um probably Hmm. Uh probably no more than five hours. I'll be done around I think I'll be done around four PM. And I should probably get started. Yeah, around four PM is when is when we're gonna get uh is, is probably when we're going to stop. That's what I'm going to guess. Okay, so let me explain the game. Uh, or the story of the first game. Okay, so we're going to play on Nightmare. There's no classic. And see over here, we have this guy where the mouse cursor is. Can you see the mouse cursor? That's Sebastian. And that's his kid, Lily. And his wife, Myra. I'll pause it when we get in. No. Chapter one, Into the Flame. No, no this is not happening. Okay, so before we go any further, how is the volume on what he just said? Do I need to turn it up? I don't I don't want to say anything else other until I, I hear some response. It's fine. It sounded fine to me. A little low, a little low was a tad low. Turn it up. Okay, I'll turn it up. Okay. Okay. That better? I know it's kind of hard to tell with it with his with his footsteps. Let's restart actually. Let's just restart and then we can we can discuss the story. And you guys can tell me exactly how if if it's good or not. <clears throat> okay, so The Evil Within is a psychological horror sort of game. Starring this guy over here, Sebastian Castellanos, but we're gonna just, just call it, gonna call him Sebastian or Seb. Um, Sebastian is, was married to Myra, and they have a daughter, Lily, and he is a police detective, and so was Myra. They, they were both on 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 the force, the Crimson City Police Department. So, um, at the beginning of the game, you don't know any of this. You don't know that he was married. You don't know that he had, he had a kid, and uh, you are called to a mental asylum where. Uh, there has been a big murder spree and you don't really know what's going on but you you are called there along with three others there's a guy driving the car who's just a, a police officer and there's your partner joseph and you have a junior detective who you are training named kidman uh julie kidman so those are the three main characters sebastian joseph and julie kidman 
So those are the three most important ones for now. When you go into the mental asylum, there's there's people dead all over the place. And also on the drive there, you were hit by this weird kind of sound pulse wave that made everyone kind of hold their heads while, while, while they were being driven there. So you're investigating why all these people are dead in front of the mental asylum. And then you look at a, at a surveillance camera and some guy in a white hoodie who's scarred underneath of it kills three cops and then comes in and kills you even though you're in a different room he just warps next to you like he's in the matrix he just warps next to you and kills you he stabs you through the eye then all of a sudden you're somewhere else and you're still alive and you're being held prisoner by this big massive guy with a chainsaw and you have to escape from him and it becomes a stealth sequence so from here on out this kind of disjointed disjointed kind of you are up in the mental asylum then you're downstairs then you're somewhere else this is the theme of the game that it you are warping all over these different areas. It doesn't make sense. Like you're in a dream because that's what you are and you're in a dream. Um, so as, as you go from the mental hospital to the city that is crumbling apart and then to a forest where there are zombies and not this nightmarish kind of, kind of thing, um, you eventually learn by talking to a doctor that is also trapped in this kind of dream thing and trying to find this other mental patient named Leslie that you are, you have been forced into some sort of experiment you don't know how yet you've been forced into this experiment that um, you are linked with many other consciousness minds in this machine called the stem so you're a part of the stem and there are at least five of you but it's probably more than that so you joseph kidman leslie this doctor guy and this other guy named ruvik who is in control of the simulation are trapped in this stem machine and you are bleeding through each each other's memories and it's warped because of Ruvik's hatred and his 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 need to, for revenge and that's what's causing all the nightmarish stuff to pop up so there's like a monster that has multiple arms and like black hair and it's and 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 it's chasing you like a big spider and that's like this nightmarish represent, representation of of um Ruvik's dead sister Laura that sort of thing so not all of it makes a full load of sense but um it's important to know that it is very much a dream which means that you will be in one place and suddenly you suddenly you'll be in another place it doesn't really follow all that all that much Jimenez, that's the doctor's name, thank you. Yeah, Jimenez is the doctor's name. So you don't really know what happens throughout the main game. And this stuff with Sebastian, his wife, and his daughter is only told to you through readable logs that you find in the in in the in the world. And it's not important at all. Like you don't, you don't, it's not a focus of the story. It's all about Sebastian trying to get out of this simulation. That he doesn't even he's not even sure if he's in it for half the time. Like he he doesn't really ask a lot of questions, it's a flaw of the story. And at the end, you kill Ruvik within the simulation and you get out of STEM and you're, you're, you're safe and that's the end of the game. But you kind of see Ruvik walking away from the asylum at the end of the game and it looks like he is, um, he's a dream. It looks like maybe Sebastian is still infected with him in some way and he's seeing him when he's not even there, even though he's out of the simulation. So if that sounded confusing, yeah, it is confusing. It's, it's, not, it's not very clear. Then you play the DLC, which is a continuation of the story, and you are Kidman now, Junior Junior Detective Kidman, um, Julie Kidman. You play it from Kidman's perspective. Now, it's revealed that Kidman isn't actually a cop. She's an undercover kind of agent working for a organization, secret organization called Mobius. I don't think they're part of the government. They're, they're more like an umbrella from Resident Evil, if you play Resident Evil. So Kidman is working undercover for, for Mobius and her job is to get Leslie out of the mental hospital alive and save him for whatever reason. Now, it's revealed that the, the machine that was built stem, which you've been caught in, is this kind of really powerful device that Mobius wants to use to control everyone on the planet mind control and and they developed a wireless version that can just send out a pulse and grab you into the into the machine which is what happened at the beginning of the game to sebastian while he's driving in the car that's how they all got into the, into the into the simulation without them knowing it's a wireless pulse that drags you into it um so kidman is is, is reveals a lot of, of about the story that mobius is this shadowy organization that built the, the machine um with the dr jimenez and ruvik helping and ruvik was forced against his will and kind of had his brain removed so he could control so he could be like the central processor the cpu of the stem 
it only works with him for whatever reason and that's why they want leslie's because it, it only works with specific kind of kinds of brains like some brains don't work for whatever reason it's kind of weird actually it's really weird so that's why they want leslie i think at the end of the game they do actually have leslie so that's maybe that's why how they make a, a second stem because i do know that you do go on and in the machine again um so in this in this game um but yeah so so, so that's it so that's where that's where we're left with um also it's heavily implied and pretty much known that myra like lily lily is dead she dies in a fire we're gonna see that lily their child on the screen right now i should move the mouse lily's dead she died in a fire this fire down here and myra is missing but myra is now working for mobius so we don't know why that is so seb hasn't sebastian hasn't seen myra i think in like six years or something and um for whatever reason myra is now working for mobius so we'll see what happens and if you're sitting there going okay i still have a lot of questions yeah me too like me too like there's 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 a lot of um there's a lot of unanswered questions a lot of things that don't really make sense so any questions before we start <clears throat> someone asked how how is it story driven when there isn't that many cinemax or whatever because the story end begins with this massive mystery of oh what's going on in this asylum what's going on here how did we get down into the basement how did we get back into the city what, what how are we in a forest now it's very it's all this it's front loaded with mystery it's front loaded with all these questions and that's a main part of, of story narratives is if you, if you ask so many questions, you want answers. And and I think for me and most people when they start playing this game, like there, there isn't even much to do in gameplay for the first, what, hour, right? Maybe first half hour that you want answers to the story questions. You don't really, it's it's not like opens with a really good shot of gameplay. Here, here's all these cool things that you can do. It's, 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 it's all about the questions and you want those answers. And then it's all about gameplay for the most of it. How much is shipping to Europe when buying one of your books? <laughs> Um, I, I I don't know yet. Um, we uh, it should be available in Europe, but w but we don't know yet for physical copies. There are only Kindle at the moment. Okay, so I think we can start now. Finally, I'm not seeing any questions. Sorry that it took so long, but yeah, I think it's good that everyone's on the same page, the same confused fucking page that we're all on for this game. Okay, so once again, let me know how the audio is when Sebastian talks at the beginning. Going to make lunch, so pushing the first five deaths early. Ouch, 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 ouch. <laughs> Thanks, 27 pennies. Thanks a lot. Enjoy your lunch. No. No. No, this is not happening. Can we all just agree that this game's transitions are smooth as fuck? Yep, the transitions are really great. I hope that continues in this one. I hope the volume was good. Are you going to author new books in the future? Yep, but not anytime soon. There will be physical releases of the books, but not anytime soon for um, for for brand new content. The videos are taking up all my time at the moment. So I'm playing with mouse and keyboard this time. So we'll see how this goes. I might switch to gamepad if there's a lot of stealth, but we'll see. Oh God, Lily! It's like the last of us opening, only we're breaking into the house instead of the zombie. Cool. Okay, I have the settings pretty much cranked, so I hope I don't have to turn any of them down. Like, so far it looks okay. I guess the occasional frame rate stutter is fine. So I'm gonna guess we're, we're already in a dream. Crouch is a toggle. That's good. 
Damn it, where is she? Damn, what a bad dad. You don't even know which room's hers. Lily? Come on out. Lily, where are you? I'm here. Dad's here. You weren't here for me, Dad. Evil daughter. Oh no. That's not good. Hmm, what happened to his hand? Oh, is that the scar? Everyone that goes through the Mobius thing gets a scar. Maybe. Kidman? Hello, Sebastian. It's been a long time. Three years. I've been trying to track you down for three years. And you thought you'd find me at the bottom of an empty bottle. Is that it? And why are you here now, damn it? You didn't find me because they didn't want you to. Calm down, Sebastian. You knew what was going to happen in that hospital, didn't you? What happened at Beacon is in the past. You need to forget it. You sound just like that psychologist that forced shoved down my throat. But he didn't have answers. You do. You're going to force shoved? About Mobius. Here More Matrix. Where did you get this? Lily's still alive. What? Lily is dead. I read the police report. I was at her funeral. We can rewrite history if we want to. Staging a death is child's play. Child's Why play. Why would I come out of the shadows just to lie to you? Freezing. Lily is alive. And she's with us. But she's in danger. We need you to help save her. Save her? What have you done to her? Get your hands off me! Okay, so this is pretty bad so far. You'd come willingly, Sebastian. We don't have time for this bullshit. This is pretty bad. We need you. This is not put together quite well, very well. Really needs you. All right, so Kidman was a good guy by the end of the DLC, so I don't know why she's acting like this. So maybe maybe she's she has to put on this front in front of Agent Smith and Agent Smith. So I'm not sure. Sebastian? Game audio could be a bit louder when you get the chance. Anyone else agree? Yeah. Do you want me to turn up a little bit? Great. Yeah, the voice acting isn't that great. It was good in the first game. This is the almighty Mobius, huh? Be careful about what you say. You don't know how okay. powerful they are. Can I pause it? What if I just so alt tab? To kidnap a washed up egg. Okay, it paused. Cool. Alright, I'll turn up a little bit more. Okay, it was at negative 17 decibels, now it's at negative 12. Let me go to negative 11. Nah, negative 12 is enough. I don't want it to be too loud. Okay, is that better? Oh, cool. At least your terrible sense of humor is still intact. Enough of this bullshit. Where's Lily? They're not acting like people. That's why I don't like it. Are right here. 
They're not acting like people. The Beacon Mental Hospital incident was an unfortunate setback. But we used the knowledge gained to build a new and vastly improved STEM system. What does this have to do with my daughter? Imagine it. Millions of minds connected together. Happiness for one is happiness for all. I could still be a little bit louder. Wow. What's with this game being so quiet? Whereas the other one was, um... Like, I, I had the other one, the first game, at negative 20. And it was a little too loud. So this one's at negative 9. Okay, I turned it up a little bit more. Okay. This should be fine. Yeah, nobody's acting like real people. Yeah, that's what, that's what, that's what I don't like. I, I want them to act like people. They're, they're acting like... They have they have information to dump on you, and that's their whole purpose. You know what I mean? Like that's it. This machine, this miracle, will allow our species to achieve greatness. We needed to start with a mind that was pure and clean enough to support thousands of personalities. The mind of an innocent child. You connected Lily to that machine? Your daughter is quite special. The most stable core candidate we've ever tested. Thanks to her, the new STEM has been a smashing success. Until recently. A little over a week ago, Lily vanished. Just stopped sending signals. Then the STEM environment began to collapse. We thought it was just a technical glitch. An easy fix, so we sent a team of Mobius agents inside. But then we lost contact with them, and STEM went dark. Think about this, Mr. Castellanos. I am providing you an opportunity. Not only to see your daughter again, but to save her life. Something you thought you failed to do before. You can save her, or let her die. It's your choice. Okay, so, so first of all, someone asked a question about Pokemon. Do I think the Pokemon makes turn-based combat interesting? Not really. Um, Pokemon is interesting because of, of the larger game of acquiring new options and catching them and oh it's cool that they're learning new moves oh it's cool that they're evolving that's what makes Pokemon compelling the, the minute to minute combat is, 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 is actually one of, one of the worst um, turn based that I think okay so this is kind of dumb. Like, wh why? What? L Lily just so happens to be the kid that they that they had that they kidnapped, and it just so happens that like years later that Sebastian is the one that is that is partnered with Kidman, and they get sent to the mental uh, uh, hospital. Okay, so here's what has to happen to make this okay. Um, what has to happen is that um, the the um, Mobius has been kidnapping a lot of children in, to test them. Okay, that, 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 that's what has to happen to make this okay. And that Myra inf infiltrated Mobius after Lily just so happened to be kidnapped, you know. And Myra is the one that chose Sebastian for Kidman to get partnered with. So she's, she's arranged it that Sebastian is being exposed to, to, to the whole thing with Kidman. Otherwise, it's a gigantic coincidence and the whole thing can just fuck right off. Like so, so that so that so that's that's the only way that's gonna gonna, gonna gonna work. I'm assuming right now that we're actually out of the simulation, that we're not already in it, and this isn't a nightmare twisted kind of thing, right? That's what I'm assuming. Um, so that that's what has to happen. But so far, this is pretty bad. Good luck, Sebastian. And please. Try to cooperate with any team members you might find in there. I know you don't trust us, but they have the same goals as you do. That's all right. I'm fine by myself. 
Just remember to call me the moment you find Lily, so that we can begin the extraction process. I'll be out here for you. And someone else will be in there for you. Are you ready? Yep, yeah, so she's kind of working against them from the inside, I'm guessing. Hmm. Doesn't he realize that they're just going to keep her in the machine? Like, she's the perfect candidate. They're not just going to let her go. Be careful in there, Sebastian. Maybe he understands that this is better than nothing. It's, it is better than nothing. Why is she in a box, though? Like, did they take her brain out? Is she dead? Because it was a brain that was was the one in the first Two. the first stem. One. That's cool. What did you think of the DLC yesterday? It was okay. It was alright. Not as good as the main game, but it was alright. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Pretty. Cool. I like it. Is this... Where am I? Okay. Where's the stamina? Okay. So, it tells us about stamina, but we don't have stamina in this scene. Alright, game. I'm coming, Lily! I know it's hard to accept Myra, but she's gone. Our little girl is gone. No! I'll never accept it. You won't help me. I'll find out the truth on my own. I'm playing with a mouse and keyboard now. Is this place? Detective, we've got a call. All units, all units, 1199, exploit cover point 3, Beacon Mental Hospital. Uh. Do you think the setup of this game suffers because you know that you're in the Matrix from the start instead of being like a mystery like in the first game? Uh, I don't think they could pull that this a second time, so I think it's better just to, uh, just to show you it. But if you're playing this one first, then then yeah, maybe, but I don't think you should play sequels first. What kind of weird-ass phone walkie-talkie is that? Hello? Sebastian, are you there? Kidman? What? Snap out of it, Sebastian. You've made it in safely. How are you feeling? Terrible. Like the worst hangover ever. Don't worry. It will pass once your mind has adjusted. You're in an area separate from the main system right now. That's how we're able to maintain communication with you. This construct is called your room. It's a safe zone that was formed from your own memories. My memories, huh? If that's the case, then where are my wife and child? This place looks like my old office at Crimson City PD. It was your self-conscious that built it. You should ask yourself that question. Ooh, burn. Let's get down to business. We sent some information into your room. You this is better. Unfamiliar? This is better. Um. 
I think I missed some questions. I'm sorry. Uh, as always, if you have a question and I don't see it, just ask it again. I'll try to answer it once once I do see it. Uh, keep in mind that when, when the game is talking, I'm not going to be talking. So if you want me to answer a question, try and time it between story scenes in the game. Um, someone asked about the voice acting. Uh, it doesn't really bother me much at all. It doesn't really bother me. Like, it's okay. Why is he still acting so confused? Does he understand what's going on? Well, when you go to sleep, do you do you always realize that you're dreaming when you go to sleep? I think it's kind of like that. I think no matter how much you're prepared to fall asleep and you're like, yep, time to go to sleep and dream. Like when you get into the dream, you're still kind of like, wait, what? What's going on? Like it's, I, th I think it's sort of like that. That's, that's explainable, I think. Really drew this picture of me. It was burned up along with everything else in the house. I got here a little bit late. Did they give any reason to pick the main character for this rescue mission instead of someone with a stable mind? It's because of um, his daughter is the one that's in the middle of it. So I think th I think they picked him probably because he has some experience going into STEM before, but also because uh, like they want someone that will that Lily will be able to sympathize with. Why does everyone get the scar on their hand? from going in STEM. That's weird. Why how would how would that cause a scar? A cat. I don't ever remember owning a cat. Slide projector. Where did my memory dig this up? Elementary school? The scars explained cool. A relic from a pre-phone camera era, these are mostly found in old people's attics and estate sales. They can be viewed using the slide projector in Sebastian's room. Operate projector. So the cat is the save point for us too? The cat was the save point in Kidman's DLC in the first game. Hey, the lights turn themselves off. Cool. Add, change, slide, cue, stand up. Okay, Sebastian, Myra, Lily. Oh. So we're gonna find these as we go. All right, talk to Kidman. Kidman, you there? Always. You wouldn't have told me about Lily if your damn machine didn't go on the fritz. I would have spent the rest of my life mourning her and you wouldn't have cared. I cared, but I couldn't say anything. They would have killed me. I'm not sure I believe you. Why would I lie about that? To manipulate me, to get me to perform like a good little soldier. You've lied to me before. Our whole friendship was built on a lie. Okay, I get it. And I don't blame you for feeling that way. You'll never know how I feel until you've lost your family. Ooh. I never had a family to lose. Just two people who brought me into this world and treated me like a burden instead of a daughter. Better to have loved and lost? Is that what you're saying? Maybe. At least you had people who cared about you. Point taken. Um... Hmm. Okay, so uh, just want to repeat again. If you if you want to ask a question, just keep asking it. Just don't spam too much. And also, you can tell me things to do in the game. If you want me to look at something, if you want me to try something, if you if you have like a hint for me for for gameplay, go ahead and tell me. That's fine. You can backseat. I think that's what pe people call it. And they get some Twitch streamers get really mad at at backseating. But do not spoil the story. You you can you can. Go about gameplay, but don't spoil the story, please. So someone said, um, check, check the wall. Oh shit, what the fuck? There are photos of a bunch of Mobius agents here. Your lost team, I see. That's them. Let us know if you locate any of them. You're our only line of communication into STEM. They're stuck in Union and searching for Lily too. Union? This STEM environment was designed to look and feel like a small town called Union. Great. So your experts need rescuing too, huh? If anyone can do it, it's you. Thanks for the vote of confidence, but I'm only here to find Lily. There's more info there. Pissed. Check it out before you go. Chapter two, something not quite right. Okay. So burly man, burly man, burly man, burly man, girl. Okay. William Baker, Miles Harrison, Liam O'Neill, Julian Sykes, and that one's a little blurry. Y Yukiko Hoffman? Y I'm having trouble reading that, the, fir the first name there. Okay. Baker, team leader. 
He's the guy I should try to find first. Okay, well, last time the whole thing was really confusing, so I don't think you're gonna have you're you're not gonna, you know, have a choice of where we go. Harrison. Combat specialist, huh? Hopefully he can take care of himself. O'Neill. They must not have been expecting trouble if they sent in all these technicians. Sykes. A tech, but at least he has some small arms training. Hoffman. Here we go. <clears throat> Psychology and surveillance. This one could be KG. KG? Lily, your team, and now me. We're all stuck inside STEM. I still don't understand why you can't just take them all out of their pods and wake them up. It doesn't work that way. Without a core, we're totally locked out of the system. To forcibly remove anyone from STEM at this point would kill them and leave their consciousness trapped inside there. Great. Mobius has got some stellar backup plans. Stating the obvious isn't going to speed things along. You need to find Lily. Otherwise she, you, and everyone else inside is going to die. Union, huh? Looks like any town USA. It was designed that way to keep the test subjects calm and relaxed. Calm and relaxed. The exact opposite of Beacon. What happened at Beacon was beyond our control. It doesn't seem like you've got much control this time either. Look, I don't know what you're going to encounter in there. If you need information, I'd suggest you try talking to some of the locals. You know, canvas the area. Just like you taught me back at KCPD. You were never a real detective, Kidman. And you're not a detective anymore. But let's try to do some detecting anyway, okay? I'm Sebastian, and I'm gonna sound pissed the whole game. I'm the new evil within. I'm so mad. Lily! Yeah, okay, the, vo the new voice actor is starting to bother me a little bit. Uh, speaking of Union, I hear this game opts for more of a hub world formula. Can you let us know if you enjoyed the format of this game or the first? Which would be better for a game like this? Okay, well, um... We'll, uh, we'll see what happens. I'll let you guys know. Are there statues with keys in this one? Do I like salmon? Mm, I'm not really big into fish. Green gel, it's gross and it usually comes from dead enemies, but if you collect it, you can use it to obtain increased abilities. Thanks, cool. Kitty. Swear to me! <laughs> Thanks, Kitty. Um, so, in the first game, after you get out of the DLC, maybe I misunderstood, but um, there's a tech that talks to Kidman, and Kidman says, how long, is it, how long has it been? And the tech says, it's been 37 minutes. Like, the whole game was done in 37 minutes. So, from your arrival at the mental hospital to the end, even though it's, it felt like days that you were in there, it was only 37 minutes. So... I guess the, the, the cycle rate or whatever is different this time around because assuming that I am actually talking to Kidman in the real world right now, like that, that means that it must, there must, it must be closer because otherwise how could the conversation be ongoing unless Kidman, the USB stick or whatever, so she plugged into the computer. Is that just like a copy of Kidman's consciousness that's here to guide maybe? Like, I don't know. I guess, I guess we'll, I guess we'll see. Ooh. Just like Beacon. Should be a way out. Why couldn't my memory just make regular doors? Save terminal. Save terminals can be used to save your progress at any time. They can be found in safe houses and in Sebastian's room. Yeah, maybe I'm not talking to Kidman. Yeah, maybe maybe it's it's some representation of Kidman. You know, you can't you can't really trust anything. New save slot. Okay. Alright. Well, things seem to be a lot smoother in this version, at least, in the sequel. Okay, so the cat isn't isn't the save. That's a little bit disappointing. I like the cat save. Here we go again. Into the looking glass. Oh, Alice in Wonderland. Oh.
don't know. <laughs> Lily, what's wrong? Evil little girl. My doll's head is broke. My wife's name is Lily, by the way. It's okay. Mom can fix it for you. She can fix anything. Evil Lily. You know, Lily, two, two, two boys is enough. Two boys is enough. Let's not have an evil little girl. Sebastian? What's wrong? Are you alright? Spooky coming? Got a wonderful family. An amazingly smart and beautiful wife. Why wouldn't I be alright? Come here, Myra. What? You've been working too hard. It's making you delirious. Are you sure you're not coming down? Who talks like this? Hey guys, we have we have one line of dialogue to make to make it clear to everyone that Sebastian had a really good thing going on. How can we do it? Just just one that's all the budget we have is just one line of dialogue to communicate all that. So we need to just pack it all in there. Who cares about the cliche? Just just pack it all in there. Is this the right place? Yes, hello fellow spouse. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Oh shit. Just the scene with him happy being the voice, that would be great. Yeah, that would have been better. That would have been better. And it would have been cheaper too. Okay, can we go somewhere else first? Alright, so stamina is much better from the first game. Can we slide? No. Okay. Way better from the first game. How fast does it recover? Uh, quite a delay and it's a bit slow. Let's uh, hopefully we can upgrade it. That's way better. It's still a little on the short side, but you know, it's more Dark Souls length. So that's pretty good. Stamina in the first game was was like no joke, probably done now. Like so it's like a quarter. That that's 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 the that was the base stamina in the game, yeah. Like done about about now, yeah. That that that's how bad it was. You had to upgrade it further than that. William Baker. What's your opinion on roguelites, Binding of Isaac, Nuclear Throne? Uh, I like them. They're pretty good. Uh, not my favorite genre. I don't really like those two games in particular, but I do like I do like um, uh, Splunky was pretty good. So is something else going to be through the store now. Splunky is pretty good, and I really love Enter the Gungeon. Wait. Cool. Now you're thinking with portals. I really like things like this. It's cool. Flashlight hype. Okay, so can we open every door? He's gonna try, all right. Don't you find your sensitivity high? The the mouse? Um, I haven't shot anything yet, so we'll see. I might have to turn it, turn it down. That's neat. Look at that. That is neat. Did it loop? Will it loop again? It must, right? That is cool. I like that. That is really cool. Um, if you like these things, you should play Antichamber. Yeah, I probably should. Uh, did you see the movie Looper? Yeah, I saw it. It was pretty good. I liked it. How do you feel about the graphics in the game in comparison to the previous one? Uh, I think these are better, but 
Like, it's still <laughs> early so far. So we'll see. I, th I think this is overall better. Okay, so I can use the camera, but let's explore a little bit first. You know what? No, I think you're supposed to use the camera right away. Let's just use the camera. Sorry if you can hear the baby. I mean, what baby? This is pod racing. Oh, okay. So that changes things. You can hear the music louder. Neat. All right. So does that change things on the outside? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, let's 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 look around. I'm gonna guess we have to find a way to save him, maybe, but I don't think so. Now you're thinking with portals. I say that all the time. I love that line. Okay, so Someone tried to block the way out. Or in. What's in all these boxes or these cases? Right, re no, really, there's nothing to do with this. Like, we can't do anything here. Hmm. We need a baby crying emote for substance. I think that'll be a feature of the streams often. Yeah, um, we're we have an emote that will be made. I think of a baby a baby dragon crying, like a dragon whelp, and they'll and they'll be crying. Uh, an emote has been in um, in pending for for days, and it's still not there. It's a the, the first emote will be a mimic. Um, for any more um, emotes, though, I have to make partner, and I don't know when that's going to happen. Every time there's a jump scare, make sure to ask us to like, to s ask us to like, subscribe, and comment. It's a, it'll be a good tradition. <laughs> uh. Yeah, this is cool. I, I like like the game. The game is going to be perfect, you know. Like, but but so far it, it has some cool touches. Like, I just don't get how the opening can be so stylish, like the credits, and like it can look pretty good, and it has stuff like that with the box. And, and like visually, it's it's quite stylish. Like it's 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 good, but but yet you have that just. God awful dialogue and and voice acting at the beginning is is it is it like and it's better now it's not great but it's better now so what is like is it a translation thing like like did a, a different team handle the movies like it's just like wow that was a really bad opening like shockingly bad Hello? <laughs> Shit. Who was that? Uh, how do you, what do you think about Super Bunny Hops and Ahoy, Ahoy's videos? Yep, yeah, really good. They're really good. Yep, yeah, very, very, very good content, content creators. Have you applied? Your YouTube status should make you a candidate immediately, I think. It scrolled up. Yeah, I, I have already. Uh, and they said no. Joe's a genius. Why am I a genius? And it's something about Patreon and Twitch. I don't. I, I I know you can link it, but I don't know if that works. If that works, that would be great. Cause yeah, like that. That's kind of lame. Hey, you know, become a patron. Also, by the way, you know, subscribe on Twitch. You know, like if, if people have a lot of money and they want to do that, you know, that's that's up to them. But yeah, I I would like to. Is that an item in there? I I would like there to be a way to link the the two of them. Maybe there is. I know very little about Twitch. Like I've been watching Twitch for years, but. When it comes to, um, yeah, that's pretty good. When it comes to streaming, I know very little about it. Like, I was one of those people that never talked in chat during Twitch streams. I would just lurk. A dirty lurker. Okay, can we open you? Ooh. You're not on the list. Who hey! What the fuck? Damn it! What's going on here? 
They said no. Yeah, they said no. Yep, they said no. They said apply again later. Yep. Apparently it's uh, probably because I just hadn't done enough uh, enough um, streaming yet. So yeah, I'll try again. Files, one out of 40. To applicant SV, extravagant letter. Congratulations, truth seeker. Thank you for taking our spiritual acuity test. Acuity? Acuity? We're pleased to welcome you to the next level of knowledge. Please report to the nearest MU center or MU center with this letter to ascend from probationary applicant to the position of MU disciple. This letter guarantees you an exalted position at the next cleansing ceremony. Handwritten at the back of the envelope lies all lies. So it's like some Scientology kind of parody. Grand. No deaths yet, uh, 20, 27 pennies, and no, um, uh, no, no combat yet either. No, no, no shooting, no nothing. Again, like, like the first game, like, I know some people disagree, but it seems very, hey, so much story, so much, so much dumping about the story at the beginning, and that's, that's the focus, and then it wasn't, so I wonder what, what's gonna happen here. Ooh, that's cool. Neat. Wait, wasn't there somebody here? What do you think about the Yakuza games? Haven't played any of them. So I can't comment, sorry. I'm sure they're great, a lot of people like them, but... Oh, is this the Ruvik of, of Evil Within 2? Ruvik is like the Lich King from World of Warcraft. There must always be a Ruvik. Russian Ruvik. Space to enter and exit cover. The cover icon figure one will be displayed when you're facing a valid cover point. Moving in cover. Okay, so ba basic. Move in the direction indicated using, yep. Yeah, okay, so basic kind of deus ex cover. Okay. Oh, cool, now, he, now he's stuck. Wait. Why aren't you turning the why aren't you turning the cover? Why aren't you what? Okay. I can't turn this corner? I don't understand. Who the hell was that? Oh, okay. That's kinda weird that you have to hit W at the same time? Okay, I must have misread it. Okay. So you just fucked off? Alright, cool. One day we're gonna be in one of these boxes. Just like the search team member. Okay, but there's only a couple of people hooked up to it, so where are all these people coming from? Is there more people hooked up to the stem than we saw in that room? Ooh, there's no wall now. Hmm. The computer doesn't like rendering in that. Ooh, maybe I need to turn some of it down. We'll see. Find a way out of here. Cool. Wait, weren't we just here? More eyes. Ooh, bloody door. W plus E to climb, okay. Files two of 40. A photograph of another murder victim. This is a Mobius uniform, well lit and in focus. It looks like a gun was used to shoot him in the head. Turn over, nothing. Okay, maybe I should have turned over the other one too. What's... What's the arrow? Just, just 
just a mouse cursor thing? I don't... Okay, I don't understand. Um... There are a thousand people hooked up? Yeah, maybe. There's a full town of people? Maybe. But, like, in the room, there was only, I think, what, 12 bathtubs? Yeah, like, there was only 12 people hooked up, right? So, I don't know if... If that's the same. Is it a quest marker? I don't know what that is. Like, it looks like it's kind of matching my, my mouse, but... It's also not. I don't, I don't know what that is. I, f I feel like I should know what that is. But yeah, well, I guess we'll see. Okay, that's where the evil eye was. So let's go upstairs. Ooh, now there's a pendulum. That's neat. I like pendulums. Pendulums are, are, are cool. Not really though. Okay, so... <sighs> fucking hell. Okay, so th this, is, this is every single game we've been playing lately. I go through this question of is this the right way to go or is this the optional way to go? Let's go let's go to the evil eye. The spooky eye. Fuck man. All all the game devs need to have like a big GDC meeting and decide how how can we communicate which is the right way and which is which is the optional way? Because like I, I went the wrong way during the stream lot yesterday and like hit a cinematic and I missed the whole optional area because I didn't know which was the right way and which was the main way. It's an indicator that you can take cover. Oh, okay, that was the indicator. I thought it was there like there was like supposed to be like a one there. I thought it said there was gonna be a one. Again, I'm not I I probably just didn't read it well enough. Heyo, is Spooky safe in the game. Maybe most of the people are not real, but memories. Also, I hear that Kidman looks extra hot in this game. <laughs> um, yeah, wasn't there a one? It said said there was going to be a one, or maybe that was just a reference to to what the indicator was. Um, I don't know if Spooky safe is in the game. I doubt it, because Spooky safe was like only for Ruvik, right? Do you like this game so far, Joseph? Uh, too early to tell. It's way too early to tell, but if it's like the first game, then yeah, I'll probably like it. I like the first game. Um, again, let's uh, let's go up further and see what's up here. Okay, so this is this is the blocked way. All right, so we're going this way. It said figure one. Okay, I was expecting a one. Makes sense. Can we move quickly? No, can't move. Really, we're stuck on that? Hmm. Push tab, you can read the tutorial again. Nope, tab isn't working. Maybe praise the gods that there is no letterbox, yeah. Cool. Christ. This is very, very Hannibal, right? If you've seen the Hannibal TV show, it's very Hannibal. Can we go in this? Yeah, very Hannibal. It's, it's like gross, but gorgeous at the same time. Like seriously, like holy crap. Damn. Rebirth. It's also very Twin Peaks. Is it? I've never watched Twin Peaks. Should I watch Twin Peaks? Okay, so there's some sort of dinosaur uh, breathing. Okay, there's a door over there. Can we open this door? No. Okay. Is Hannibal worth watching? I think so. It's a bit gross, though. Like, th that, that pretty much sums up Hannibal right there. Like, Hannibal's more gross than that but yeah like it's it's pretty it's kind of gross but mads mickelson man that's my waifu hmm 
No, you shouldn't watch Twin Peaks, you should do more videos. <laughs> Yeah, computer is chugging a little bit on the opener areas, more open areas. Might have to turn it down a little bit. Creepy. Oh, are they the masks? No, no masks. Okay. Just shrouds. Creepy. Okay, so in the Kidman DLC, we shined light on these things and they did stuff, but no, it's not working this time. All right, so now the wall's gone. Uh, sorry, the wall's back. So we have to take a picture. Cool. I like it. I like it. Do you play with a controller? Uh, mouse and keyboard for this run. I did controller for the first game. And someone asked if, if uh, YouTube is randomly demonetizing me. Um, they have for some videos, but not all of them. So far, I've just um, did a counterclaim and they've uh, they've reinstated them. So it's, it's so far so good with me. I'm very, I feel like I'm very lucky when it comes to YouTube stuff. Okay, is she still in the reflection? Yeah. Ooh, kinda looks like No it doesn't, never mind. What the fuck? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh man. That looks more like cool and ridiculous than scary. Oh shit, she's fast. Oh fuck. You're fast. It's like Bloodborne meets Dark Souls kind of, kind of, kind of boss. E, E, press E, press E. Yeah, the doors. I don't, I don't think the door is gonna stop Reseb. Really? The door stopped her? There's no way. Shit, I'm trapped in here. Or maybe not. I thought it was Laura. Now is when 9S comes to save you. <laughs> okay, the blade's gonna come up through the vent. God damn it. What the hell is that thing? Think you're gonna die, rat. Yep, called it. That monster represents YouTube demonetization going after YouTubers. The saw blade represents how YouTubers now have to make their videos shorter and cut them up into little pieces to make sure that if one gets demonetized then the others are safe. They're butchering their own work in order to be safe, embracing the saw of the monster. Maybe that's grown up, Lily. Okay, so you can get through a wall, but you can get through a door? Oh, well, we're dead. Don't bring a knife to a buzzsaw fight. Holy shit. Is this how we get our first weapon? That's kind of cool. Did 
Just wanted to tell you right. to say that I really appreciate those bullshit literary analysis here? segments. They're pure gold. <laughs> I try. I'm glad that at least one person likes them a lot. Automatic health regeneration. When your health is critically low, the life gauge will turn red. While the life gauge is red, it will automatically regenerate up to a certain point. It will regenerate more quickly if you stand still, so try to find a safe place to hide and recover when in critical condition. Okay, so more quickly if you stand still, but I don't have to stand still. So that's different than the first game. So if I walk, yeah. So in the first game, you have to stand still for that to come through, okay. So it's a minimum amount of health regeneration so you can get through. I actually think that's a pr one of the better ways to do, um, to do health regen, I think. That it's not the whole thing, but some of it. I think that's that's good. Did you know that Cleveland Brown's name is based off of how he is black? What? What did I just read? What? Maybe I should start reading questions in my head before I read them out loud. Is that bus saw running on batteries or a cable? <laughs> it's running on dream batteries. What the fuck didn't she kill you with the saw when she had you? That knife thing was dope though. Repeat hitting a key in a game is a mechanic that has to die. Why do devs think that that it's fun? It's just like Q2E with no, Q2E man. without like, oh, you're struggling, you know? You're struggling. It's whatever. Solar powered saw. It runs on nightmare fuel. Eh? Yeah? Eh? Yeah? No? No? Maybe? Journal in abandoned house. That's just like the titles of these things. The handwriting in this journal is neat and precise. The final entry reads as follows. Just got the call. Now I know the reason for all the weird shit that's been happening the last few days. It's the worst possible scenario, but at least I don't have to pretend anymore. The things I've seen, they've all changed. It's too late to save them. It's time to put my train... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm dying. <coughs> oh, man. It's time to put my train into practice. May God have mercy on their souls and mine. Now we can see it. Figure one. Okay, so I thought the one would be part of it, even though it said figure one. I don't think I read this part. I just looked at this part after seeing here. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Just me being stupid. Inventory. Survival knife. Cool. What do you guys think of the game so far? Oh, the syringes are back. Medical syringe. Blue and green. The origin of the medication in these portable syringes is unknown, but they provide moderate health re restoration. Portable syringes? Mouse three. Cool, all right. Oh. Weapon shortcuts. Nice. Can I level up wherever or? Missions. Oh, that doesn't bode well. Where were you when I needed you? Maybe this is the right place. I'm Sebastian, and I'm gonna talk to my gun the whole game. Billy, I hope you're here. This photo, I thought this was lost in the fire forever. I remember when we took this. Lily's breath smelled like cotton candy. Myra never looked more beautiful. I love you, Daddy. What did I get myself into? What did I get myself into? Kid been? Sebastian, where have you been? We lost you. I don't know, but it sure as hell wasn't a quaint little town. There's something bad happening in here, Kidman. Baker is dead. There's a killer running around in here. 
doing things that are... It's like Beacon all over again. What the fuck did you just send me into? I don't know. We're in the dark out here. Baker was the team leader. If he's dead, that doesn't bode well for the rest I of I never asked for this. Keep searching around. The more info you gather, the more I'll be able to help you. Yeah. Sure. Okay, crouching doesn't make aiming any better. Okay. Herb, a naturally occurring plant with medicinal properties. This component can be used to craft useful items. Oh boy. Oh boy, it has crafting. Oh boy. Well, I'm excited. I'm excited to find two more of those things and put them together and make something with them. I'm excited. And later on, I'm gonna find two more. I'm excited. Herb, yeah, I, I pronounce the, the, the H or the H, however you say it over here. I say herb, I don't say herb. Cause I'm British. Sorry. Don't worry, Sebastian. It's just a small, quiet town. And then you'll never pick them up again. Could you imagine a game? Too quiet. Did he just do the "it's quiet, too quiet" line? Did? Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you really just do the "it's quiet, too quiet" line? Did he just do that bit? Oh, you will then. Why? <laughs> No. Oh no. What's next? Is he gonna have a bad feeling about something? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh shit. Yeah, could you imagine a game that fucks with you by giving you like a crafting material at the beginning of the game and it's like, find more of these suits to make healing items and then they just, that's the only one in the whole game. Like it's, it's making fun of crafting systems. That would be great. Look out for more of these later on and there's just nothing, no matter how hard you look. Yeah, the crafting was, was, was bare bones in the first one. I'm, 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 I'm making fun of it. I'm oh. shitposting. Like hey. it, it might be fine. She had to have heard me. Better check it out. Did he just knock Hello? the house of the, the spooky house in the spooky forest in the brain simulation that we're in? Oh no. Itchy tasty. Clean your plate. You gotta eat skin and bones. Cool. I said eat. <laughs> that is not how you feed your kid. I'm gonna talk to. Okay, so he fired three times. Are the bullets gone? Or are they magic cinematic bullets? <laughs> oh god, everyone like and subscribe. <laughs> oh no.
What? Okay, she's dead. Okay, are you a friendly broken nose kid? Yeah, could you imagine the attention to detail if there was a game that did that? Um, mini gamer, gamer Rose? Cl Club Dossman, I can't say your name, I'm sorry. Could you imagine if, if, if like, oh, I, if, if I had fired all six bullets I had outside earlier, and then I get to here and he tries to fire and nothing happens, and he has to pull out his knife real quick and it's a different cinematic, like, that's that's just completely, like, that's that's not worth the effort. Like, let's be real, that's not worth the effort. But holy shit, that would be next level attention to detail. That really would. But how much of a can of worms would it be, like... Like, they would need more than that, though, because he fires three bullets in, in, in the cinematic, right? So, let's say I only had one bullet left in the gun. He could fire the first one, but then the next two it would have to react to, right? So, that, yeah, that's, that's not worth the effort, but holy shit, that would be next level. Oh, I should probably use the syringe. Um, syringes... Let's make them... Let's make them eight, so I will never hit them by accident. So if I use it, will it go away from my hotkeys? No, it doesn't. Cool. That's a good improvement from the last game. Miss the syringe in the kitchen in the, by the fridge? Okay, cool. I'll go back down there. I wanted him to come in so I could stealth kill him so I don't need to use a bullet. Oh, now he is coming in. Oh shit. Okay, I don't think he was close enough to get me there. Okay, he's dead. Damn, that did a lot of damage. Holy shit. Wait, what did that say? Sit in wheelchairs for what? I missed that. I'm sorry, what did that say? Kidman. That was fast. Did you learn anything new? Yeah, I did. I learned that it really is like Beacon in here. The people in here are turning into creatures. Damn it. What the hell happened? I don't know. But it means that Lily is in more danger than just being lost. Sebastian. Save it, Kidman. Leave it to me. I'm gonna find her. Well, last time in the game, um, in the first game, Ruvik was in charge of it, and Ruvik was immortal, pretty much, right? So, no, we could kill Ruvik, but... Like, the zombies and everything, like, were nothing to him. So, I'm assuming that Lily has that same power. I missed a syringe by the fridge. Oh, here we go. Okay, well, I should probably use it. Like, holy shit, I took a lot of damage there. That was dumb. What's, what's melee attack? No... Is there a melee attack? Because in, in the first game, there was a melee attack. Button assignment type C. Oh. Well, that's helpful. Keyboard bindings. Where's the keyboard bindings menu? Keyboard bindings, okay. Um, sneak kill, melee attack, mouse one. Just mouse one? Oh, okay. So, when the gun isn't equipped, I'm guessing. Can I fire from the hip? No. Alright, so even with the gun equipped, I can use the knife. Okay. I thought that would have fired my gun. Can I unequip it by hitting something else? No, I can't. Okay, cool. Alright. I 
I just want the next title by the developers to have a room where he just sits polishing his gun mumbling the whole time. <laughs> Okay, so hold on. It said I could, I could, um, I could use wheelchairs for something, or and someone said it was for leveling up. That's what I missed. I, mi I, I just, I wasn't looking at the screen when it popped up. So why was it telling me that in there? Was it just because I got more green shit, or could I, could I actually use it in here? Like I don't think so. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Overthinking. Let's just keep going. Can I save it anywhere? No, I didn't think so. Okay. A new tutorial has been added. Using firearms, okay. Cool. Access in the arsenal, okay. Breaking objects, mouse one, okay. Melee, okay, cool. Wait, what, gunpowder? Oh, we can make bullets. Okay, save terminals, automatic health regeneration, okay. Bullets, cool. I wonder if these are randomly generated. Weapon parts. Cool, all right. Gunpowder. An explosive mixture of potassium, nitrate, sulfur, and charcoal used in shells and cartridges 12 centuries old and still just as effective. This component can be used to craft ammunition and other useful items. Okay, can't break these ones open. Wonder, can you shoot them? Not worth a bullet. It said you can use wheelchairs and safe houses to upgrade your abilities. Okay, cool. Thank you, Shivy Vivi. So, so far this feels more like the first game in terms of environments, and I like that. But the first game also started like this and then stopped. Welcome to Union, we're glad you're here. Huh. Is... Is the tree supposed to look like a brain? Like a stem? Like it has to, right? There's no way that's not intentional. That's cool. That's neat, I like that. Yeah, we know how to run. We've done it already. What now? Oh shit, it's Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Damn, these guys got lucky with the weapons that they found. Mobius members. Some of them are still alive then. Damn. But those things are everywhere. Why are there zombies though? Is it just is it just like to get in there normal normal involved. nightmare creatures? Left control to enter sneak. Enemies are especially drawn to sound. Crouch movement can help conceal sounds, foot, sounds of your footsteps. F attack unaware enemies from behind with a sneak kill. Okay. Can we kill all of these with stealth? Okay, I should have waited for her to come back and then stab her when she comes back. Maybe she'll come back here, let's see. O'Neal, move! Oh, what's this? Puts aside a book. Oh, it's an M16 with a grenade launcher. <laughs> uh... Yeah, like, why Why are there zombies? Are there zombies because that's just, like, what people are scared of? Like, and it's just, like, this is a general thing? Bottles. Oh, good that we have the label. Throwing bottles can make enough noise to distract enemies. Bottles can be equipped in the arsenal by pressing mouse 3. After purchasing the bottle break skill, bottles can also be used to break out of some enemies' grab attacks. Starting a new game on casual difficulty automatically grants this skill. Damn, casuals win again, man. 
Okay, so now we can keep... Oh, what the fuck? Was that a map? Oh, damn. Huh. Well, this is different. Okay, so can I, I can keep bottles now. I can collect them. How many? Max five. All right, cool. I like that. I like that I can keep them. All right, let's make that... Um, Let's make that six. Maybe we're going to use them. A lot. Let's see. Let's do some tests here, and because I, I think that was a checkpoint, right? So let's do some tests here and see how how perceptive are the zombies in, the, in this game. Sneak kill unaware enemy. Th that's those little tips are getting a little old, but hey, that's fine. Okay, you're stuck in that script animation. So are you at the door? So let's kill let's kill Path and Dude first. Let's not get the green goo because it's gonna smash a window to get it. I think. Let's kill Path and Dude. Like I said, I think the game is going for a more open world feel. Yeah, that's cool. I like that, if that's what they're doing. Are you just stuck over there now? I have a feeling the moment I get away from the car, you're going to turn around. Okay, yeah, if I had gone, I would have regretted it. Okay, so you're here. Oh, shit. How close do you come? All right, so as soon as you turn around, I'm going for you. I don't know how I feel about sticky magnetic cover. Sometimes it's a little awkward. Okay, turn around. Turn around. Okay, cool. Oh shit, you're a smart zombie. You're dead. Cool. All right, let's go for you next, and then the door guy. Yeah, I know sneak kill on a war enemy. I know. I just did it. I just did it, game. Whoa, what? 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 Uh, I didn't see a season pass or any DLC for this game, is that right? Okay, so I think that's the first zombie we've killed that hasn't dropped something. Alright, so let's go kill the other ones now. Another Mobius member needs our help. I'll mark it on your map. Oh no. Oh no. Don't say that. Don't say that. Grab the gunpowder in the car. Um, wasn't there like uh, the, the stuff over there too? Like I'll, I'll smash with the cars after I, after I, um, let's see. Let's see if I can, uh, if they'll draw attention. Okay, so I'm good here. Oh wow, I can climb up. So they can't, they can't hear me or see me from here. Okay, also good. And there's a bottle over here. I thought it was green goo, not gunpowder. All right, so how can I approach these guys? All right, so the one there, I don't think we can stealth kill these guys without being seen. So this one here is sort of random and is looking. This one here is looking in this direction. This one's pathing. These two are praising the church, I guess. So if we can go from around back there and we can get this one, but then she might see us. So that's probably not gonna work. So let's go through the house. Let's even go go and kill that guy and move through them. Because I don't think it's going to work otherwise. These two as well. Okay, I don't think I can stealth kill both of them. Right? Like, whatever, whoever one I kill first, the other one's going to see me, right? Let's find out. Ooh, stealth bushes. Can I be seen and then run away and go back into stealth? Foliage can be used to con for concealment. When your body changes color, you are hidden. Cool. All right, so I can't get to you guys at all. But this is not happening. Okay, so let's go in the house. It's just not happening. 
You think they would have eaten that by now and, and be looking for more? Shit. Um. Wh oh, fuck. Where'd they come from? Where did they come from? Fucking nightmare zombies. The first game did that too. The first game would have people appear. Zombies appear. Well, I hope I can go back around out there. I'm assuming that I can. Okay, calm down. Don't shoot. I'm not gonna hurt you. See? Okay, so he's lost his gun twice already. You can lower your gun. I'm on your side. You're not Mobius. You might not be one of those things, but... That doesn't mean you're on my side. You're right. I don't work for Mobius. But I was sent here by them. Have you seen what those things out there? What they can do? Yeah, I have. Lucky for you, your partner was willing to sacrifice himself so you could escape. He wasn't my partner. He was just a member of Union Security Detail. Protecting me was his job. And my job is to solve a hardware issue. Dying inside here is above my pay grade. I'm not a soldier. I'm just a technician. I know. Stop! Or I'll shoot! Now! Now I have two guns. A soldier would have taken the safety off. Oh my god. Oh. I told you. We're on the same side. Oh no. Let's try this again. I'm Sebastian Castellanos. I'm O'Neill. Liam O'Neill. So you're not Mobius, but they sent you in here? Why? I'm looking for my... I'm trying to restore the core. Just like you are. Yeah? Good luck with that. I'm done. I'm just gonna hold out here until extraction. They can't extract you. Not until Lily is found. Who's Lily? Look, everyone is stuck in here until the core is located. Who's Lily? Can you help me out? If you're asking me to go out there with you, you can forget about it. This is a safe house, so I'm staying safe. Got me? But I may have a lead on the core. I detected some signals nearby that resonate at the core's frequency. We were trying to track them when we got attacked. Here, listen to this. It sounds like a little girl, right? Quiet. Was that her? The core? I think so. But I've been picking up all sorts of weird signals on my communicator since we got here. No way to know for sure until you track it to its source. How do I do that? Your communicator can pick it up too. Once you're out there, how do I do that? Them, you'll see. You'll probably pick up other signals while you're out there. It wouldn't hurt to follow them to find out what. No way. The core first. It's the only way we're getting out of here. Suit yourself. Let's pair up our communicators. That way I can tell you if I find anything. Yeah. Okay. Good Again, idea. I guess. Let's also make a secret handshake so I know it's you later. Cause that's what bros do. Oh, we have conversations. Go outside and use your communicator to track the girl's voice. Okay, something stronger. The mission about your team supplies. Uh, let's just go down the list. So you've been stuck in here a week already. Has it been that long? Damn. 
Uh, time's a little fluid in here. This was supposed to be a simple in and out job. Like, home in time for dinner, simple. But this is different than anything I've ever seen before. What do you mean? Wonky stuff usually happens when a core goes AWOL, but what's happening is more a than core. That. This place is falling apart at the seams. So they've had we different ones. The stable field emitter, but it's not working like it's supposed to. What's the stable field emitter? If Mobius sent you in here, shouldn't you know this stuff already? What? That's all you're gonna say? You're not gonna explain what it is? That that's where that ends. What? There were five members of your team. There was a security force already in here to help us, but yeah, there are five search team members. W wait, did you just say were? I found Baker. He's dead. Huh. Doesn't surprise me. He locked onto a powerful signal and went to investigate. I told him we should just request extraction and report our findings, leave the dangerous work to somebody else. But he wouldn't hear of it, being team leader and all. Always had to be the brave one. You ask me, there's a thin line between brave and foolish. Yeah. There's a thin line between prudent and cowardly, too. Ooh. Tomato, tomato. I'm not saying I'm glad he's dead. <laughs> what kind of asshole do you think I am? I An asshole that doesn't finish your I'll sentences. You know find anybody else. You'd really What's the that? stable field emitter? Thanks. I'd appreciate that. It's more dangerous out there than I expected. Any idea where I can get some weapons and supplies? I tried to tell you about this one signal, but you didn't want to hear it. What? Well, I'm all ears now. <laughs> I picked something up from two Mobius security team members who were talking about weapons caches. Maybe you can follow it and get some gear. Maybe they're out there can help you out. Now think about it. Come on, man. I'm all alone in here. I could use some protection. Maybe if you hadn't let your last guard take the fall for you. Whatever. I'll mark the signal on your communicator. Follow it or don't follow it. I don't care. All right, Preston. Another settlement needs our help. Mission start. Rogue signal. Those things are pretty tough. It takes a lot of ammo to get them off my back. Do you have anything stronger in here? Not in here, but you could probably find some out there. This place was designed to be peaceful, but Mobius and firepower go hand in hand. Do you know where I can find some of this firepower? It's pretty chaotic out there. You're not going to find a pile of heavy-duty weapons altogether. But I did see something useful next to an abandoned APC just outside. I'll mark its location for you. But be careful. There are a a Mobius APC it. location has been added to the map. Press tab to view. A. A1. Okay. Mobius APC. Alright. You can't move the mouse with, um... With WASC. You have to, like, drag it. Alright, safe house... Mirror, okay. Okay, the game, the, it's not terrible. The game's not terrible. Like, we're, we're hamming it up and we're, we're having fun, like, poking fun at it, but it, it's fine. It's not terrible. Workbenches can be used to craft ammunition and items with components and to upgrade weapons with weapon parts. All right, then. Crafting, weapon upgrade, crafting. All right, so we can make bullets, crossbow bolts, but we don't have the crossbow yet. And we can make medical syringes with three plants. Item info. Okay, we already had that one before. All right. Okay. All right, let's go back. Weapon upgrades. All right. Level one has just a level. Firepower, ammo capacity, fire rate, reload time. All right, so I think we're going to be using this a lot. So let's um, let's increase the. Oh, what the fuck? How long is this game? Unlocks level two enhancements for firepower, ammo capacity, fire rate, and reload time. Oh, so you need to high grade weapon part. Okay, I see. I, I think I understand. All right, 120% 90. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, so I can't upgrade anything. I can't upgrade anything yet. Okay. That's fine. Field crafting. Select the field crafting icon from the arsenal menu to craft items without you using a workbench. Field crafting consumes more resources than crafting at a workbench, and you cannot upgrade weapons via field crafting. Oh, that's neat. Cool. That's neat. I like that. I like that you can still do it, but it costs more. That's cool. I like that. All right, 20 weapon parts. 15, 
Okay. Anything else? No. Alright, so we can save it. We're we gonna talk to Kidman. No, so there hasn't been a wheelchair to upgrade our ourselves yet. Coffee coffee makers. This is a horror game. Uh, drinking coffee at a coffee maker will restore you to full health. Coffee makers will automatically begin growing another pot after use, but the process will take some time to complete. All right, so we're full on bonfire. Do we need health? Yes, we do. Let's do it. Damn. Time for some coffee. Yeah, this is an animation we want to see over and over again. Takes the edge off. <laughs> Alright, so how long? Like, could I theoretically stand here and just wait for it to be done? I wonder if it's based on how many things you kill outside. Alright. Interesting. It's the nurse. What the? Who is that? You know who that is. Sebastian's room. Okay, is she here now? It's it's the nurse from the first game. Like he knows who that is. Okay, so same thing. Scary. Follow, ah, follow, follow, ah. out of here detective castellanos what a pleasant surprise welcome back you again how are you here i could ask you the same question regardless it's nice to see a familiar face even if that face has seen far too much you look tired detective i can help you get back in shape Just like before. Upgrade. Health. Oh, there's like trees now. All right. Combat, stealth, recovery, athleticism, and health. Okay, what are they? Toughness, increase max, maximum life. Okay, let's actually go through order. Even more, even more. <clears throat> Consume a red gel to unlock further skill progression down this pathway, and then even more. Okay, so 200% health. All right, so after you get that, you can get Defiance. If an attack would have just barely done enough damage to kill you, you'll grit your teeth and bear it, remaining alive with a small amount of health. Okay, so there must be, like, a cooldown. Oh, is it... Okay, just barely done enough damage to kill you. So if it's, like, you have 200 health and it does 210 damage, then you, then you survive. You shrug it off. Okay. Okay, and that makes it even better. All right, and this way is total health recovered while regenerating health from near death status is increased. Okay, so that makes your minimum health better and total health recovered when regenerating from near death status is increased again. So those are probably really good because I'm guessing that when I get to this level, I can survive most hits even on survival. So that's probably really good. All right, so what's uh, what are the other trees? Like I like I like upgrade trees and everything, but at the beginning of the game going through all of them is sometimes quite tedious. So stamina, stamina, stamina. Okay, stamina, stamina recovery speed increased, and again, gives us a chance to automatically avoid an attack that would otherwise damage you. Certain attacks cannot be evaded this way, and increased probability of it happening again. All right, so that's actually pretty good as well. All right, recovery, recovery separate from health. Recover more health when using healing items. Okay. Automatically use medical syringe when taking fatal damage does not work when taking fatal damage from certain attacks. Alright. So like pits and stuff. 
health recovery speed increase when regenerating from near death status, and that increases the speed. Okay. Stealth. I kind of want to see you play a bit without stealth upgrades just so you can see how much you need them. If you don't want to kill yourself, get crouch speed as fast as you can. <laughs> Or how much easier it gets with them. Love yourself and get the crouch stuff and cover stab from stealth. Reflexes one is a, is a value point. Reflex one is good. Reflex one? Okay, I can't afford it, but no, oh, yeah. 20%, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, I like that. All right, so I start here and I can go down here. Bottle break, all right, that's when you start with, okay. Your footsteps produce less noise, making enemies slower to investigate. Move faster while crouched, move faster while crouched. Special ability which allows you to quickly close on enemy for a chance to sneak kill them. Wow. So, the front, when you're a little far away you can do it? Cool. Perform sneak kills from around a corner while in cover. And then footsteps make even less noise. Oh wow, so you're not completely silent anymore when you're crouched. Alright, and finally combat. Steady hands, reduce radical sway when firing weapons. Again, again, again. Melee attacks, including attacks with weapons like knives and axes, do more damage. Again, gain the ability to kickstun enemies away from you. Cannot be used on certain types of enemies. Less kickback when firing weapons. Again, and for a set amount of time, shooting damage is increased with each consecutive shot. The effect runs ends when either time or ammunition runs out. Okay, so what should I get first? I kind of want stamina. I like, I like having more stamina. What should I get first? Everyone's saying stealth is really overpowered, but someone said they want to see me play it without getting stealth. Like, I've been stealthing a lot, so kind of low profile might be better. Stealth? I can't get crouch speed. I don't, I don't have enough. Everyone's saying go stealth? Alright, let's go stealth. Okay, and we don't have enough for this. Okay, cool. I don't understand. This place. You. It's just like Beacon. But this isn't Beacon. This is Union. Is it? It all seems familiar to me. These walls. That chair. You. For me, it's as if nothing has changed at all. When Kidman in the DLC, when Kidman went to the asylum part, was she here for Kidman? I can't remember. How am I ever going to get these nails right if you keep interrupting my manicure? Oh. Well, I'm Don't sorry. Don't you think it's time that you moved on to the task at hand? Like, I'm guessing that this is probably part of his imagination. Okay, can we open the door? Okay, we can now. Cool. Alright, so the mirror we can get out of here. Okay, how's it going, cat? Can I kill the cat? Nope, can't even fire in here. That sucks. Alright, so is this updated when they're dead? Yeah, so that's got an X on it. That's ominous. Okay. Let's just go back to the game. How do you manage to catch the new stream time? Cool. How's it going, Deviler? Maybe she was on the USB drive? Maybe. Uh, my first thought when about the USB drive was something to do with Myra, but maybe I'm wrong. Go outside and use your communicator to track the girl's voice. Huh? Okay. Let's see if I can find this signal he mentioned. R lock on. When the communicator is within scanning range of a resonance point, a waveform will appear on the upper left side of the screen. Move the communicator around to find the signal to lock onto it. Looks pretty far away, but it's the only lead I've got. God, I hope it's Lily. That's the rogue signal. 
we're better armed this time. Or at least we will be once we raid the supplies. Come on. That's neat. Okay, so lock on. Alright. When locked on, the communicator will show the direction and relative distance to the locked on residence point. Residence points which have been locked on will be shown on the map. Alright, so. There. Okay, I think we want to go and do the side quest first, though, because, as usual, just just forget forget our daughter. Like, we're going to do everything else first, because this is a video game. Uh, what's in the inventory? What's new? Everything. Okay, components. Alright. Let's go stealth it up. What is that happening? So many interruptions, holy crap. Breaking apart like this, there won't be any union to search. I gotta try to find that signal. Cool. His accent kind of keeps changing a little bit. All right, well, that sucks. I wanted to kill all those zombies. That's a bunch of green gel I'm never getting back. Fuck, man. I thought I could go back here and, and get them. Shit. Okay, let's, um... What's the white one? Okay, let's cancel lock on. What's the white one? There's too many of them. Unknown residents. Fallen Mobius operative. Okay. You weren't supposed to kill them anyway? All right, well that makes me feel out. What the, f is he carrying a corpse? You went for takeout? Those things are piling corpses up here. But why? Oh, he saw me. Shit. I'm sad that he saw me. Okay, you don't look dead. You look alive. When acquired hand axe temporarily replaces survival knife in combat, it can instantly kill some enemies but will break up their single use. Alright, that sucks. What's with the blue? Investigate. Could I have stealth killed the guy that was sitting down there? I don't feel like I could have. Gunpowder. I should go make I should have made bullets. Shit. Um <laughs> Wait. What? I said it would break after... Um... Cool. Alright. Maybe because he was already damaged a little bit, it only did whatever damage the axe needed. Or maybe because he was close to death, it didn't count the whole thing. Like, that's nice of it, I guess, but... Hmm. What do you mean I- but it said it replaces the knife for melee attacks, like when I go here, right? See? You have to crouch and use it? I thought I used the axe. Okay. Please forgive me for what I've done. Please forgive me for what I've done. But did a scripted kill with the knife because he was close to death. Okay, cool. Oh my god. Please. I know I've sinned, but not this. Hello? Please forgive me. Are you okay? Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Oh God, please. 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 
Vicar Amelia? No bullets, but he's still holding the gun. Yeah, but the guy doesn't know that, right? He could use it as a, as a, as a threat. So that's okay. I think we're gonna get spooked. <gasps> oh no, we're getting spooked. So melee's worthless. Let's get this. Okay, well I don't have a choice, so I guess I'm gonna try. You done? No, you weren't done. Sometimes you only do two. Okay. So that kind of grab can get a hit on you. All right. One. Oh. Oh, you're dead. Okay. Well, melee actually seems better than the first game. That might be okay. Where did the other zombie go? One out of 32. Where did the other zombie go? It was nice of him to leave, because I don't think I could have killed all three of them. Zombie bro. Metal pipe. A chunk of steel pipe with some rust on the ends, not worth much as a cudgel. Cudgel? Besides, you've got guns. Oh, that's good. This component can be used to craft useful items. Cool. Okay, I don't want to go through the door, because it sounds like there's something bad up there. Okay. Hmm, I'm not sure how I feel about this format so far. Like, I like, I like the, the, the more open levels, definitely, but I'm not sure how I feel about, I went in that church and it was just a scripted sequence that, that took control away. I'm not sure how I feel about that. That's, that's kind of, that's slowing me down a little bit, you know what I mean? Do, do people understand what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I think I would have rather just gone in there and he just does his thing as I try to get closer to him and then and then they ambush me without taking control away. Probably would have been easier to make, too. But let's see. Suddenly like there was a zombie somewhere. That guy that came in and broke the window and then fucked off. You gotta check the chat more. How else are you supposed to know when you should like and sub? <laughs> okay, zombie. You don't like me, I don't like you. So let's just get this over with as fast as we can. F is stealth kill, right? F. Yeah, there we go. You really gotta step up your Dark Souls reference game. You're only at one out of twelve. I don't think I can do that for 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 every stream when it's the same game, pretty much. I don't think I can do it. I don't think it's sustainable. Yeah, I can't break these. How's it going, Lily? Okay, tea time. I hear they're are they revolting out there. Look, I hear. He's done his lunch. He's done his lunch. Is so, there a zombie at the door? Like, holy crap. Huh. Mobius. 
Okay, uh, let's go back and craft some weapons. Let's uh, craft some bullets. Maybe there's coffee. What do you think of the game so far, Lily? <laughs> you want to know? Yeah. It's prettier than the other ones, so at first I thought, oh, okay. And we're not watching it anymore. Why? Because it's really boring and really cheesy and really shit. Okay. <clears throat> I'll check in from time to time, but... What the hell? Okay, so that has one more thing to fill up, so let's see, let's just sit here and see what happens, if, if it will actually fill up. I hope it's not a long game. Good taste, shots fired, they agree with you. Hold on, Lily just brought me a drink and like two, two biscuits, so let me eat one of them and I'll go craft. And we'll see if it fills up with time. Just make them all. There's this battery symbol bar on the coffee machine that tells you when it's right. Yeah, so I mean, the one, one's flashing on it, right? So, what I'm curious of is, is it based on time? Like, if I, if I stand here and wait, it is based on time. I was wondering if, like, Every bar that fills up is a zombie you kill outside, so like you have to go outside and do stuff to get the full heal, or is it based on time? So that's kind of shit. That was what, 10 minutes? So every 10 minutes I get a full heal, so if I really want to, I could save all of my syringes and all of my stuff and just scumbag the save coffee machine, right? So that's, um, that's, that's, that's not good, you know? Or maybe it is good if, if you if you want that option. If you if you really want to min max everything that you have. A couple years ago I would have done that. <laughs> Alright. Did I miss anything up top? Did I miss anything in the in any of the drawers or anything? I don't think so. But let's have a look. And this is just gone, right? Yep. Yeah. Ooh, it did. Gunpowder. Okay, and that looks about it. Looks to be about it. Okay. I checked the bathroom. Maybe there's something else on this side. Damn. Every horror game has just like the grimiest bathrooms. Doesn't motion blur, cr chromatic aberration, and other useless and image degrading effects bother you? Not really. Motion blur can bother me a little bit, but like it doesn't really bother me that much. I don't find the motion blur to be too bad in this game, but yeah, sometimes it does bug me. Chromatic aberration, not so much. Then why would it blink a zombie having its dying breath? I don't, I'm, I don't know. I just wanted to make sure. Like maybe that was like it's, it's just showing that this is the next one that's filling up. It would, it would make sense to me that it's, it's tied to how actions you're performing out in the world so you can't just scum it to get full health all the time but apparently you can like we won't but we we could if we wanted to if you play on normal you'll you will drown in healing herbs anyway so you'll forget about the coffee okay also zombies don't respawn cool um, you already have two supporters. Screw Hob, we want Joseph Anderson a critique of my marriage. <laughs> When's the next voting thing? Are they decided by voting things? <laughs> I don't get this marriage. I just don't get it.
hand axe. Cool. Yeah, I know. So we're going out of range of it. Yeah, we're not. We're not. We're not doing this. We're we're doing the other ones first. Yeah, we're doing the other ones first. Bread flour, a dry powder emits a plume of smoke when exposed to flames. This component can be used to craft useful items. Cool. Fuse, a small block type fuse from an electric ju junction box. It cannot unfortunately be used to repair broken fuse boxes. This component can be used to craft useful items. All right then. So far the game seems a lot more grounded. Less less nightmarish after now that we've gotten here. How many of, of these levels are there? Probably like four or five big open world levels like this. I can't imagine that there's like 15 of these really big, huge open world levels, but maybe. Maybe four or five is too small. All right, zombie on the roof. How did you get there? I guess we'll find out. Um, okay. Holy shit, there are a lot of them here. What are you carrying that's on fire? Oh, you can't burn them anymore either. I just noticed that. You can't, there's no matches. Do you get matches later or do they just take that out? Why won't you... You know what, let's, let's not use the magnetic clinging thing. That's a silly feature, let's not use it. Handgun bullets. Okay, I don't. I only have one headset on, by the way. A headphone on, by the way, my left one. So if anything's coming from the right, I'm just pretty much deaf to that, unfortunately. But so far, the sound sounds pretty good, from what I can tell from the one ear. Okay. So I could probably throw a bottle and distract her, but. That might cause the other ones to go too. All right, can I go to the left and grab that one first? Okay, that guy paths. He might see me actually, shit. I should go and get that guy first and then go to the other one and get the other ones. All right, I hope he doesn't see me. Was she just following me? What the fuck? Okay, so when he starts moving, we're gonna go over there and we're trying to get the, gonna get the bush before he he starts looking. All right, so they seem to have quite low low line of sight range. Yeah, quite low. All right, I'm gonna guess that I can actually walk a little bit normal here. He saw me, shit. Oh. Okay, so he didn't really see me until his eyes went red. That was just like an alert kind of thing. Okay, cool. All right, let's run away. Hope there's no zombies over here. Holy shit with the beacon notification. Oh, if that's how, if that's how eat, Okay. 
Okay. How easy it is to drop stealth, or to drop alert. Because is, is that the case we can do like hit and run to kill these guys? As long as I take so someone out, I don't care if I get spotted afterwards. Yep, that's really easy to, to, to get an alert face. Hmm. Okay. That's not very good. Maybe it gets harder though, it's the first area. The stealth is incredibly forgiving. Yeah, it seems like it. Okay, so is that blinking to tell me that I'm nearby this thing? Alright, I hope I can climb up there. Don't see me again. Don't see me again. Don't see me again. Don't see me again. No, I can't. Shit. Okay, so there was, if I had the upgrade, I could grab him from here, right? And stealth kill him, but I don't have it. Shit. Okay, so I'm going to be, I'm going to have to be faster to grab him. Love seeing you streaming. I'm catching up with the first evil within your second channel. How is this compared to the first one? It's okay. It's pretty good so far. Like, it's, it's not, it's not bad. Like, I'm, I'm shitting on it a little bit for fun, but like, it's, it's not too bad. Okay, he's he wanders quite a bit. All right, so let's go. Let's go to the outside and grab the other ones now. I think we've um, cleared enough of a path to stealth kill the other ones. I don't know if I'm gonna do the whole game stealth. This is a little tedious. Okay, so one, two, and then the girl. Right? Alright, so I don't care if I get spotted, as long as I kill one, then I can run away and drop it. So I don't care if she sees me. She might see me, but I don't care. I'll be surprised if she doesn't see me, actually. Yep, she saw me. Okay, bravely run away. Bomb. Cool background though. That's neat. How are you liking the open world um, esque gameplay style over the first game? Um, well, I should probably like it more, but the the more open levels in the first game were a lot more dense do, do you know what i mean like the, there was a lot more going on like it was a lot a lot of a lot of tight tight streets and and buildings kind of crammed together whereas here like the, the streets are a lot more open there's a lot more space do, do you, you guys know what i mean so i'm not sure if that is overall better but this is definitely better than some of the other things that that the game was doing toward the end so I guess I guess we'll find out if it's better overall. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Crossbow Fu is back. Nice. The Warden crossbow. Hold to mouse to hold aim, hold draw, release, R change bolt type. Most types of warden crossbow bolts will function as Proximity mines after being fired onto a surface. Sebastian will not trigger proximity mines. Firing a warden crossbow bolt onto a surface with another surface immediately opposite will create a tripwire trap. A red laser while aiming shows where the tripwire will be created. Cool. 
shock bolt. This crossbow bolt releases electric current which arcs from enemy to enemy, stunning them and sometimes knocking them down. It can also be fired at broken fuse boxes and pools of water for special environmental effects. Ooh. Shock bolts can also be crafted by combining fuses and gunpowder, because of course they can. Fallen enemies can be stomped to finish them off. Nice. Um, okay, I wasn't expecting picking up the crossbow to trigger something here. Oh, uh, was I supposed to electrocute all those zombies instead of stealth killing them? Hey buddy, how's it going? Just checking things out? Cool. You're a nice zombie. I'll kill you last. Harpoon bolt, this crossbow bolt impales stuck, struck opponents. Harpoon bolts make no sound when fired, so they can be very useful in certain situations. Okay. Okay, let's have you be two. Oh wow, look at the range on this thing. Oh, no arc to it either. Cool. It's like a like a bullet. Cool. All right. Okay, so Molotov Cocktail Lady fucked off to the parking lot, and there's another person, another zombie somewhere else, too. Can I get the bolt back? I'm gonna guess no. No. Okay. Cool. The same amount of content, but more spread out is what you mean. Um, maybe, kind of, yeah. But it's it's also that it was it was like one area would automatically lead to another area. Can you see me? One area would automatically lead to another area, and there was a lot more, lot more like tight level design instead of just like house street, house street, house street, like like it is just now. It's it's, it's more open and kind of not nearly as 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 uh, interlinked, I guess. Okay. Am I ever going to get a chance to stealth kill you guys? Really? Oh shit. What? Shit. <laughs> what are you doing, zombie? What? I wanted to try the electric bolt in the water, but... Um... Okay. What... What is he doing? What's going on up there right now? Knife didn't spawn. A little glitchy. Ugh. 
Even the zombies in the game know this game is so bad that they're trying to kill themselves with jumping off roofs. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Damn, missed the beginning of stream. How much have I missed? Not too much. I don't know how much you want spoiled in case you're gonna play it yourself, but uh, we're 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 trying to find our 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 we're trying to find someone important to us. Let's just leave it at that. And if you want to know more, I'll I'll tell you. It's probably gonna get spoiled for you anyway. If um if you're if you're sticking around. Cool use of boundaries for this for the town, though, huh? Like that's that's a good invisible wall for you. Oh, so could I have lured them all over with this to go into the water and then use one electric ball to kill them all? Okay, that's cool. So that was a way more creative way than I did it. All right, neat. Okay, I like that. That would have been way better. Of course, who knows if the zombies would have came over because they're like, you know, fuck you, I'm just not leaving from the spot, but still. That would have been way better. Can you do that with every car? Oh, neat. Okay, cool. That's something, like, in a video game that you've played so many video games growing up where, like, you couldn't do that. So it just doesn't even occur to you to try, you know what I mean? And then when you can do it, it's like, oh, neat that they actually thought of that. Yeah, it's, it's probably for the best that they don't care about spoilers, but, like, what, what if they just showed up and they're like, oh, what are you playing? And they don't really realize it yet. And they're like, oh, shit, you're playing that game. I wanted to play that game, you know? Like, or... Just want to try it a little carefully. But yeah, you, you, you are right. Okay, now we can upgrade the handgun with more damage, but for now, let's just keep going the way we're going. All right. Tune. Turner and Hayes? Monster or human. Take it out with extreme prejudice. The hell was that? So they went the Whatever first it, was, it looks like they were here. Where did they go? So the team that we've been talking with isn't the first team that was sent in? I mean, yes, that makes sense. More signals. Not sure if I want to run into these two. Sounds like they went rogue. Then again. Weapons are useful. Weapons are useful, you're right. I wonder if the coffee maker's uh, available again. Nails. These long stainless steel nails are kind are the kind typically used in construction. They make great shrapnel. This component can be used to craft items. <laughs> oh shit. Um, okay. When did I die? Is that first death? I think that's first death. Boopy. Does the game have the same kind of cone where it's it's a chance within the cone until you get your upgrades? Because I, I'm not the best at aiming in these games, but I felt like I was aiming properly there. Just use the axe. Okay. 
What? Interesting. The axe didn't work. Is that because we're on survival? This is the Ornstein and Smo of the Evil Winds within two. Yeah, we're on Nightmare, I'm sorry. We did it, we did it. Like, 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 and subscribe and follow. We did it, we did it. I'm scared, ah, uh, ah, uh, follow, follow me on Twitter. Ah, uh, ah, uh, scared. Wow. The green stuff are like souls. Yeah, you're right. Looks better than The Witcher just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. Hey, it worked. It worked. <laughs> Thank you. Bad Reed just subscribed as well. Thank you very much. It works. It works. Oh no, it works. Pouch upgrade, handgun ammo pouch. Cool. Don't forget to clip too. Clip, clip and like and subscribe and follow and, and, and comment. And what the fuck is this? What? Is that an artifact? Or is it a tripwire? What is that? It's... Oh. So even if I can... Oh, I'm stuck in one of those things. Cool. So even if I see it, it doesn't matter? Hmm. I'm not sure I'm a fan of that. But okay. That was neat. Scripted kind of thing. Okay, that's cool. Spooky. People will clip this and it will sound like you're exactly the type of streamer you're making fun of. Yeah, that's 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 the problem when when you're doing jokes like that. I was like, if if someone wasn't here earlier from when we started earlier, then they're not gonna understand what what we're doing either. Maybe I should explain it again. It's it's a joke that um, Hamish Black did on Twitter that I really like. Uh, that's the he does he has his channel writing on games if you don't know who Hamish Black is, and um, he he was reading YouTube's guidelines and um, YouTube suggested that whenever you get into a really powerful emotional moment like a scare in a horror game, that's the perfect time to remind people to like and subscribe to your channel and to comment. So whenever you get scared, it's like ah, ah oh no ah fo follow follow me on Twitter ah ah oh no. That's the joke, which we've probably run into the ground at this point, but there's more people here than we were earlier, so we should probably explain it again. The trip wire you can't avoid? Cool. Well, I like that there's multiple paths. Like, I'm, I thought this train would stop, but no, there's like this, there's way more in here. I'm gonna guess there's probably someone standing. Okay, so there's lock on, okay. I thought there was going to be someone ready to scare me. It's a good bit. I like it. I like it too, but it's 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 not mine. So so credit credit to credit to writing on games for that. Credit to writing on games. He's a good guy. I'm fond of Hamish. Do you think this train was going to Busan?
Zombies won't eat rats. Okay, so you turn around and then I'm gonna go to... This chair. I don't think you'll see me. That feels like such BS to me. What does? The trip party kind of went, yeah. Like, cause, cause I saw it. Yeah, it's kind of, I'd, I'd rather it be nothing there at all. All right then. Okay, these two biscuits were kind of gross. I think maybe they've gone bad, they're a little sour. I don't think I was even hitting him, but it looked like the crosswords were there to me, but maybe I wasn't. So is your marriage? Wow. Do you want to try two more? No, Lily, it's, it's, I think it's the whole packet. We've left them out. Are pineapples sour? Let's poll chat. Mikey will be happy. Are pineapples sour? Okay, that sounds a little better. Oh, shit. He has friends. Oh, he has lots of friends. So many friends. He was a well liked zombie. can't see me behind this tree. You can see me behind the tree. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We're gonna do this all the way back to the fire hydrant. Oh no. Okay, they can't see me, right? I'm in a stealth bush. That's just probably, probably apple, right? Shit. Okay, just one I can take with, with melee. Kind of awkward to turn around. Like he's he's sliding a, a little bit with with sprinting. I don't know if that's because of the mouse and keyboard or just the game compared to the first one. But he's he's sliding a lot more. Shit. It's not an ordinary bush. It's a stealth bush. It's an ambush. This game looks more like a chore than it's fun. Well, I'm probably playing it wrong. Like I'm, I'm playing it very kind of carefully. So maybe. Quick, what do you call the rear rear compartment of a car? A boot. A boot. Okay, let's try and stealth it properly this time.
British people call it a boot. Americans call it a trunk. I think Canadians call it a trunk, too. The AI is less dumb on Nightmare. Now imagine casual. Wow, this is the less dumb AI? Because this is on Nightmare. Okay. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Okay, cool. We're good. Alright, so... They, that zombie stays down there for quite a while. I think that if I go right as she turns around, I think I'll be able to get her. But we died here already, so maybe we should go to the first chair instead of the second chair. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting there. Alright, so let's go to the first chair. She won't see me here. How has it been so far? Uh, it's pretty good. It's it's not it's not the best game, but this is kind of like the first game. You know, I'm I'm enjoying it, but I'm not loving it. We're trashing it a little bit because it's just fun to hate on a game, but um, that's not really fair. But it's it's pretty good. I don't know if it's better than the first game, but we'll see. Why why no? Just go. Shit, that might have fucked up fucked us up now. What happened to your British accent? Did you ever have one? Or did it just fade? Uh, yeah, I used to have one. If I went back to Britain, I would get it back again. Probably very, very quickly. What? Four bullets to kill a zombie? Okay. Alright, let's run all the way away this time. Let's not try to kite. Okay, there's no way that they're gonna find me now. There's no way they're coming this far. Give us a sample of your accent. I can't. I can't do it anymore. I can't. I can't do a gen, a, a, gen, a genuine British accent anymore. Wow, he really did find me. Holy shit. Let's just run all the way away. Let's run all the way away. Oh, I didn't break those boxes? Let's go back and make some more ammo. Let's see if the coffee machine's up too. And we'll save it as well. I think that's a good idea. Oh wow, you are just you you really want the D, huh? You really want the D. He did the Matrix duck move. Uh, Twitch has loot crates for people giving bits to streamers, does it? I think I saw a Halloween theme one, right? Maybe I should look into that. Mikey, I asked about pineapple and most people think they're sour. This difficulty looks like a nightmare. Oh, good joke. I'm also playing like like crap. Like I'm not healing. I like I, I think I have syringes, right? Like yeah, I have I have syringe. I'm not I'm not healing because I'm I wanna min max the coffee maker. Cause after I stealth her again, I'll I'll go back and, and, and I'll just run away the whole way this time. I know I said that last time and I didn't, but I really will this time. Okay, do you guys think I can make it from here to kill her? I don't think so. After she turns around, I don't think I can make it. I think I need to go to the first chair. What do you guys think? First chair or, or, or try? I think first chair. Hey, zombie. You can try. Too late. We're playing it safe. The majority of people thought pineapples were not sour. What are you talking about? I saw a bunch of people saying saying that they were sour. I didn't. I didn't see anything else.
Okay, I think we can get the loot box the boxes again. Because he saw me in the bush last time. So there's no way, right? Does he just follow me forever? Okay, let's go save it and craft some more ammo. I think we have a bunch of gunpowder now. And we can upgrade the pistol too. The pistol might the pistol upgrade early on might really help. Um if that makes it so I only have to use three bullets instead of four for, for every zombie kill. That would that would go a long way throughout the whole entire game. How do I like the game so far? It's pretty good, I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. It's decent. Machine's working. Coffee, coffee, coffee. I think horror and open world just doesn't mix that well. Mm, what other games have tried to do horror and open world together? Tell me. How many parts? A hundred. Oh, we can almost get that one too. That's not as efficient though. That's not as efficient. High grade weapon parts, okay. Okay, do we want to go back to the train or do, do we want to go somewhere else? Watch, go look in some of the houses, go on top of that roof where that zombie was that I harpooned. Like, what, what do you guys want to do? Should I, I'll go everywhere eventually, but where do you, do you want to keep going on the train or what? Majority of people said pineapples are not sour. Did they really? I thought that, um, I thought when I looked at chat, there were so many people saying sour, sour, sweet and sour, sour, sour. Train? Train? Okay, we're going train. We're going train. Train, train. Wait, is there a ladder so I can loot her though while I'm here? Yeah, there's a ladder. Okay, we will go train, but hold on. I want I want to loot the stuff just in case it despawns. It might have already despawned actually. I think we'll probably go to the train through this area either anyway. She's got nothing anyway. Okay, cool. Will this kill us? Climb down. Cool. All right. Nice. All right. What's over here? Did I check over here? Oh, okay. So there's multiple ways to go through. Cool. All right. Interesting. I like that. I dig it. All right, so can we get on this train? Um. <laughs> okay, well, there must be a way to get on it somehow, but not, not just yet. Okay. So maybe there's a door on, on this side. I didn't think there was, but maybe there is.
Yeah, there is. Should I play the first one before I buy this? I really want to play it, but I will, under will I understand the story? Um, there's probably a good story synopsis about that you could find. Um, basically, there's... Whoa, why is the color changing? What? Ah, follow, follow. 24 green gel, really? All for 24 green gel? Um, so basically, it's just just think of it like a like a horrific version of cool of uh, of Inception. Like I'm not I'm not kidding either. You, you know how it, like when when they put themselves under an Inception with all with all the, like the needles and 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 the drugs and they go under and they have a shared dream state. It's it's kind of just like that. It's very much like Inception, only it, it turns into a nightmare. I don't know why it turns into a nightmare. It just does. In the first game, the person that was the host. Um, was kind of was kind of like batshit, and that I thought that was why it turned into, into it was horror. But in this version, it's a little girl, and it's still horror. So I don't know what that's all about. Um, I guess we we will find out. Um, so that's basically it, and everything else will be sort of explained to you as you go. Mysterious mask. You feel like you've seen this before, but you can't quite put your finger on when or where it was. But at any rate, it looks pretty cool. So you decide to keep it in your room. <laughs> Is this supposed to be the, like, the Dishonored mask? I guess? Yeah, there is more to the story, but that's that's basically the gist of what you want and to know, and you will get, you'll understand the rest via context, I think. As you go, I think. I think that's the Dishonored mask. Okay, so this is the other side of where we were. Alright, so can I stealth kill all of you? Because I don't think so. I guess we'll find out. All right, so that one's in that train, that part of the train. Fucking hell with the notifications. I don't know I'm kind of, I'm kind of liking this. I kind, I kind of like the exploration. I kind of like the moving around. I don't, I don't know if, it, like, it's definitely not scary. But the first game wasn't scary either. I kind of like it. I kind of think, I kind of think it's neat. It's a little janky, but I like it. Okay, is he gonna come in here and, and eat me? No. Okay, so he's gonna turn around and I can probably get him when he turns around. Shit, there's someone else in there. Go. Alright. Okay, might need to run around after I stealth kill him. Run away after I stealth kill him, but we'll see. No, we're good? Alright, so. Where's the There were three, right? D did one of them just stay outside? Because I came through here a different way, right? Did one of them stay outside? What is this game like? I just got here. It's a third person stealth, sort of like a horror version of The Last of Us in terms of gameplay. I think that's the closest thing because like that that's a good way to explain it. Uh, or a more stealth focused Resident Evil 4, but with an open world. Or a kind of an open world, open, open, open world levels, not an open world total. Open ended levels, let's say. What would be the term for that? Non linear levels. Are the, all the monsters simulation, or are there actually some paranormal stuff in real life for this game? Um, so far, there's no paranormal stuff that's been shown in real life. The only thing that's come close is, is uh, Sebastian kind of saw a ghost. Of someone that was just in the simulation with him, but I think it's implied that his his memory is kind of like infected with that, and he was just seeing things. But there were a lot of corpses in 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 the first game at the beginning. I don't know where they came from. All right, where is this guy? Okay, he's there. All right, so when he turns around, I can go get him. I think. Okay, go. Oh shit. Oh, shit, he goes down? All right, I don't think you're alive, aren't you? Fuck, man. Okay, maybe I can go to the next train car and then get him when he turns. There are two of them. So there's the other one. Okay, where do you go? Okay, did he see me? Yep, 
Bullets don't stop them, man. Bullets don't stop them. No stopping power on the bullets. Okay. No headworms this time. Okay. Not bad. What are some of your favorite horror movies? Would you rather fight a horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses? Hundred duck-sized horses. Easy. Easy. Easy answer. Easy answer. A duck-sized horse? Like, call in the military. Like, are you kidding? That thing would just destroy people. Um, favorite horror movie? I'm not sure what my favorite horror movie is. Okay, you're definitely alive. Okay, let's fuck with the moving man. Bullets are so precious that I just overthink every single shot. What's my favorite horror movie? Um, I guess it should be whatever movie scared me the most. So like complete, complete normie taste. Like when I was a teenager, Saw scared the shit out of me. Not Saw, um, fuck, uh, The Ring. The Ring scared the shit out of me when I was a teenager. The first Ring. Um, Saw was good, I like Saw, but not not as a scary movie, just as like a fucked up movie. Um, I talked about Noroi the other day. Noroi was a pretty good horror movie. I think that's, I think it's um, Red Gel. Okay. Noroi is a, uh, I think it's a Japanese movie, and uh, I think the, the Japanese name is, is The Curse. That was pretty good. Okay then. Okay, I gotta go study and take a psychology exam. See you guys later. Good luck with it, Travis. Good luck with your exam. Hopefully this game doesn't influence how you feel about psychology. Okay, so th was that it? That's all I came in here for? Was for 500 green goo? That seems a little, seems a little shit. I guess there's the other part of the, the train that we haven't gone through yet. Oh, red goo. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Red, red goo's good. Red goo's really good. Really, really good on red goo. I'm gonna guess those are rare. Good, 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 good. Anything in here? Uh, feels Batman feels Bartman subscribed. Sorry. I think I missed that when it came in. Thank you very much feels Bartman for the subscription I have my list here and I check it sometimes. Thank you very much Okay, so I think this is where I came from last time and I couldn't get through it right Where all the rats were Yeah, definitely. Okay, so I've explored both trains now. Cool. I have one bullet. Okay. 
Uh, let's go into here. The rogue signal in here. And we can probably can go back here too. There's some some. I think we could go in this house next to the church, or maybe this one. I can't remember. But let's go get this green thing, and then we'll go back down, and then we'll save again, and then we'll go through here. I think. What's that? Union City Hall. What if we get to go over there later? Where'd that zombie go? Okay, you look, you're, you're about to move. Reminds me a little bit of, um... Was it Dead State? What was that game? State of Decay? Was it State of Decay? Yeah, you look like you're gonna move too. Fucking matches, man. I missed the matches. Okay, how do we get to you? Did I miss a door? Can we open this? Maybe we go from the other side. All right, let's just go back to the to the, to the start. Can we stomp on you? How do we stomp? Fuck, man. The sliding, the sliding. Is it State of Decay? It reminds me of State of Decay, going through the, going through the town in State of Decay. What? Can I do that? Z zombie more agile than me? Zombie more agile than me. That's not fair. That's not cool. So <laughs> oh shit, that was close. What? Okay, the only one that feels safe to, to actually hit him back is when he does the the, the two arm grab, because he can he can combo that up into something else. Yeah, see, sometimes he doesn't do it though. That feels like the only safe one to attack back with. Okay, next time I get into a melee fight, I'm gonna use the controller, and I'm gonna see if it's better with the controller. I don't think so, though. I think one hit is too greedy on a lot of them. Yeah. Okay. Let's try. The, let's try the controller for for that. Oh wow, the sensitivity is so bad. Okay, how do we run? What's that? Buttons are different. Oh, it's... It's hold the trigger down to run? Okay, fuck that. We're going back to computer. We're going back. We're going back to the, the, the keyboard. Even if it takes away the... The, um... The, uh... The slide. I don't give a shit. There's probably a better option than that. But fuck it. Let's not slow it down. This game is more like Alan Wake than anything? Yeah, maybe. I haven't played Alan Wake. Ooh. What's going on there? Okay, I, I saw you could stomp, but maybe I can't stomp. F might be stomp on the ground. Hmm. Alright, so let's get ready to run. Are we doing it? We're doing it. No bullets, we're not doing it, no fear. <laughs> okay, let's go back, let's go back. Fire hydrant, fire hydrant, let's go. 
we're dead. We're dead. That was pretty funny. No, you can't stomp with F. Nope. Okay, let's see what's in here. More nails? Cool. Try hitting it with a bottle on, on the ground? You want to try hitting it with a bottle on the ground? Uh, what was the bottle? Seven? Six. Oh, when did the door close? Six. Okay. W melee attack with the bottle or throw the bottle? Where's the Canadian accent? This is a, this is my Canadian accent. This is kind of how uh, this is kind of how most Canadians talk. Most Canadians don't talk like this, eh? That's just a negative stereotype, you fucking hoser. They don't talk like this. Melee? No, it changed to the bottle. Uh, it changed to the knife. Not good, not good. Heal up, heal up, heal up. Okay, I'm not healing while sprinting. Usually it heals when I'm moving. Why isn't it? Oh, it takes a second to, 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 to start. Okay, you can't heal while sprinting. Okay, so you can heal while moving, but you can't heal while sprinting. Makes sense, I guess. But I don't think it said that. Maybe it did. Zombie jukes me. Zombie jukes me. Hey, do I even need to run? Can I just dodge him just by strafing? Do I even need to sprint? Let's find out. Let's find out. Do I even need to sprint? Because that's going to make things a lot easier. Okay, that seemed really close there. Holy shit. Oh, we're here. Cool. I kind of feel like melee could be worth something if you upgrade it, but I, I fell for that trap in the first game too. But I kind of feel like maybe it's worth it. But we'll see. I don't like that I can't... Like, I know he's alive, right? Why can't I stealth kill him on the ground? You know what I mean? It's like, oh, he's not active, so I can't I can't do that. But I guess it's just that's just the gameplay mechanic. Like, don't question it, right? Don't question it. Maybe activate Zombro, then sneak and murder. Yeah, that's that, that. That might be a good idea. Sometimes they follow me for quite a while, though. Throw a bottle at its head. Okay, I'll try that next. There's a supply cache under here. I gotta get down there. 
said a bunch of things though. Are there zombies down there too? Okay, throw a bottle at its head on the ground. Okay, I'll go and try and do that. How do you backstab something that's laying on its back? Uh, you don't backstab it though. You like you you stab him in the head. Some of them are on their backs. Okay, so you want to throw a thing at its head on the ground. What? Did I miss? I don't think I missed. Oh shit. So could I have stealthed it after it stood up? Ah, okay, let's try it next time. Okay, let's run away and see if we can go into stealth. Last time I put him in stealth, he, he jumped over a fence and I couldn't get him. He fucked off. going bro fuck man you are so random right now he's gonna see me there's no way he's not gonna see me what is going on right now hey we did it we got him why can you just stab him in the head when he was on the ground? Alright, we got him. Okay, how do we get into here? Maybe there's a way to open the things inside that I missed. Let's go double check before we walk the perimeter again. I don't think so though. The most earned 200 goo ever. Okay, does that lead in there? No, that's a different place. Okay. Hmm, okay, I don't think so. I don't think we can open it. Alright, so maybe there's a way to uh, climb on something. Sorry if you can hear the kids, by the way. They're being a little bit loud right now. Nope, didn't work. I couldn't stealth kill him afterwards. Too close, maybe. It would have worked with the first one. It was too close. What was the poll with pineapple? Is it sour? Fuck. How, how far away am I from the stealth movement speed? Because holy fuck. Are you trying to tell me throwing a ball at someone isn't stealthy? I'm shocked. Yeah, but when I threw it, yeah, I know it's, it's, it sounds funny, but when I threw it at the guy, the first guy, he stood up and, and, and went into a state that I could stealth kill them. And there was even a chance, he, he even, Sebastian even said, holy shit, that, so much for stealth. Um, and it probably would have worked. But um, that time he didn't enter the state. It might be too close or might, maybe it's just only sometimes, but we'll see. Okay, this this truck isn't rocking, so I think we're safe. But how am I get? Let's let's get a let's get an exit route first. So up here, and then up here. Okay, so that's our exit. That's our exit route. If there's if there's zombies in here. Spooky truck. We're safe. I 
I need this worse than you do, pal. Um, I saw AD flash up for half a second. Do I just not have enough health? Let's find out. Yeah, I saw it flash up for half a second and I was dead. Laser side handgun. Cool. Does the later side light side handgun have is it just an upgrade for what I have? Yeah, looks like it. Okay. okay where'd you go? Change type. Uses its own ammo. Okay. How far are we? Not very far. Yeah, it's it's. I think it's a random zombie. It, the first game did that too. There were different kinds of zombies for different different parts. Okay, what is he doing now? Can't you make a zombie follow the laser dot like a cat? <laughs> that would have been funny. Yeah, the guy on the ground is different too. The, I think the other one had a had a cap on. It looked more like a kid. Yeah, so it's different as well. So it's just lightly randomized. Uh, that's probably pretty good, right? That's 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 not bad. Like, how how can that hurt? If I go back to the uh, if I go back to the beginning to the, to the police station, and you know the cat should follow this around the police station, right? Do you think they thought of that? This should be easy. Who would win one stumbling, bumbling idiot covered in blood with poor reaction timing or a zombie? All right, that's like the like like the, the third kind of shit joke you've made. Hello, I'm Todd. So either you're trying to be funny and failing or just being a dick. The same guy that did the marriage comments, right? So if you're trying to be funny, you're failing. But if you're trying to be a dick, then you're succeeding. Cat would have killed Joe by now? Yeah, probably. Oh, it's the it's the vending machines. Okay. We haven't done any trap disarming yet. Okay, green goo. Green goo. More green goo. We're done? Okay, we're done. <laughs> what? Okay, well at least he's not using his fists this time. Hmm. I wonder what's gonna happen here. I'm wrong.
Joe, check the fuse box in the auto repair shop. Okay. This is the building I was just in, right? I don't want to kill this guy. You dead? No. Now you're dead. Okay. Um, let's go back and save. I think it's been a while since we saved, right? And we could probably like um, get some upgrades. Let's go back and save. Coffee time? Yep, it's coffee time. Coffee, coffee. Is there a coffee emote that's used on Twitch a lot? Coffee time. Damn, so many doors, so much to explore, holy fuck. Someone said there's only two areas like this? That's probably for the best. Like, holy shit, there's so much to do around here. Make sure you check all the houses before you leave this area. There's a subquest spanning the whole game that you can miss starting here. Okay, cool. And go to the right side of the street from the church and follow a signal to us to the small house. Okay, I should let me do the. Oh shit, I'm going the wrong way because I'm in chat. Um, let me um, let me go. Let me do the auto shop thing first. Let me go do that first. We'll explore the whole thing. We'll we'll be pretty thorough about exploring the whole thing. I've explored enough like towns and shit and, and Fallout to, to, to like before and to some extent Skyrim, but mo more more Fallout three and four to, to have like a checklist progression through it all. Um, let's go green goo first. Let's see what we can get with green goo. So much to do, so much to see. So what's wrong with taking the back streets? Hey buddy, uh, won't well, let me use the gun. I forgot about that. God damn it. We can't make him follow the red dot. He didn't trigger until you shot him, so he was just there, so you would lose bullets for thinking it could be, or maybe it's it's random. You brought something with you, a key. Maybe it's sometimes he jumps up and, and gets you. That would be cool. Like on your second playthrough, you're like, haha, I remember this part. He's not gonna get me, and then he does. But this isn't one of them. This one is more mundane, but still useful. Go on, open one. Its contents are better off in your hands than locked away in here. Okay. Okay, so I kind of want to be faster while I'm crouched. I think that would be better. And people were saying that too. I think faster while crouched is better. I also think that's pretty good. From, from a corner? Or while in cover? I think that's pretty good. But um, that might be good too, when you're when you have that. Five thousand is a lot though. Uh, let's get Prowler. Hold on, how much is how much is stamina? Because I want more stamina. Fifty. Okay, definitely, 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 definitely. Okay, four thousand. All right, so let's get let's get faster while crouched. Okay, and I have a red one to do that, but I can't afford it. Okay, so let's get um. Okay. 30% uh, stamina recovery speed or more maximum. I think I want the recovery speed. That's pretty good too, but we don't have enough. I want this. Bounce back. We want that. Or I want that. Alright. Okay, good. Alright. Do you have any more dialogue? Time that you moved on to the task at hand? Yes, we said last time. Okay. Have you ever considered doing a full video on Fallout New Vegas or 3? Yep, I probably will do a full video on New Vegas eventually. I love that game. So, yeah, it's, it's definitely going to happen at some point. Oh, shit, wrong place. Let's save it after we make some shit and get the coffee. Okay. 
coffee, coffee. Pretty much the whole stealth tree is good compared to the rest. Cool. There's a mod that adds the entire Fallout 3 game to New Vegas. Yeah, I heard about that. Wonder how janky it is. Okay, crafting. Let's just craft a bunch of bullets. And weapon upgrades. Okay. So I'm assuming the handgun is the same as the laser sight, and that's just different versions of the handgun because I can't change it here. Okay, so fire unlocks level two enhancements for fire power ammo capacity fire rate and reload time so i think i want to do that makes it level two and i want that to have more damage ammo capacity reload time all that that's not really that important i think we want more damage okay let's do it yep let's do it so now it's level two and we can't afford any others okay Okay, so what is the difference between the laser one and the other one? Just just whatever you prefer, because I think the laser one's way better. Okay, so someone said fuse box in the in in the um, the auto shop, but maybe I should have explored these places first because we're close here. Ooh, statue. files welcome to union pamphlet union is an ideal mix of small town charm and modern day convenience surrounded by diverse natural wonders come and step back into a simpler time where the warm friendly smiles of the residents are comfortable and familiar get away from the hustle and bustle and come to a place that welcomes you with open arms union we're glad you're here Feels like the Evil Within had a huge influence on The Last of Us, and The Last of Us had a huge influence on The Evil Within too. Huh? Um. Did The Evil Within come out before Last of Us? I can't remember the real state of of, um, of Evil Within one. How do you feel about these types of collectibles? Resident Evil 7 comes to mind when you think about them and how I lost interest in looking for them after a while. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's it's okay. It's just flavor, I guess. Some people really like finding things to collect, so why not have it in for them? But sometimes it can get a little bit annoying. How do we how do we open the store? I guess we come from the basement. Maybe there's a, there's a way in from the back. Maybe I'm just missing something, but let's go to the auto shop. Let's go to the auto shop. Yeah, for over 400 views right now. I don't know where they're coming from. I don't think I got hosted. That's pretty cool. Thanks for coming by, guys. Maybe people are seeing the game on the list. It's a more popular game because it's recent. Uh, 
uh, Total Biscuit uh, has me on auto host. Um, usually when he auto hosts me for a, a, a f like a hundred or two two hundred viewers, they don't show up on the list. Okay, can I stealth kill you? Oh no. Oh, we're in the bushes. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Here we go. Yeah, it's really it's really cool that he uh, has me on his auto ho host list. He showed up on my, my first ever stream too. He talked a little bit in chat. That was really cool of him. About Cuphead. The hardest game. When did you start streaming? Um, are you asking when did I start streaming today? Or are you asking when did I start streaming period? Like when did when did I start streaming on Twitch? Like what, what which I guess I can answer both. I, I started streaming I think two and a half weeks ago the first time. Um, shit. Fuck, I could have killed her. Shit, man. First stream was Cuphead. And then I streamed, um, what was the second game I streamed? I think I streamed a little bit of, uh, was it Hob? Was Hob the second game I streamed? I can't remember. But today I started at, uh, just before 11. 11 a.m. Eastern. The new t stream time helps a lot, I think. Definitely, the new stream time helps. Period? Yeah, so about two, two and a half weeks ago. Maybe it's three weeks, I can't remember. It was a couple days before I went on the podcast. So, yeah, I, I, I started, I, I went on stream because I wanted to, um, I wanted practice talking while, with an open microphone while, while doing something else. Like, I wanted some practice with that, like... Um, it's a little, a little different to talk in front of a monitor than it is to talk with someone in person, I think. So why not get some practice in? And, 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 and playing the game made, made it just a little more mentally um, taxing because you have to keep up with the game at the same time. Not to say I'm good at that. I'm, I'm not. I'm actually pretty bad at it. But um, so there's, there was that for practice. And then um, I, just, I just kept doing it because I, I really like streaming. I, th I think it's really fun. I really, really enjoy it. I'm surprised I enjoy it so much. Did I go on this one? Yes, it did. Okay. All right, so let's go to that auto shop, as we keep saying. The fabled auto shop. Ooh, bus. With a corpse on top. And a hatchet here, too. What has happened so far in this game? I just got here. Okay, so this is kind of spoilers for Evil Within 1 and the beginning of Evil Within 2, but if you're here, then I, I don't think you guys care. Um, it's revealed that um, the daughter that we thought was dead in the first game is actually still alive, and Mobius has her, using her as a brain for the, um, the, the STEM consciousness thing. All right, that's the second time I think it's done a, done a script when, we, when we're getting something. So is that part of a quest, or does he have a chance of getting up and trying to kill me? Um, so we've, we've agreed to go back into, into, the, into a different STEM program in order, like, it back into this kind of nightmare world to try and save, save our daughter. And that's pretty much it so far. So this is this is the, a new nightmare realm that was in Red Barrel Explosive. Probably not. Is it? No, it would have like a flammable sign on it. I think. I don't think it would just be red. Try it. Then I'm gonna waste a bullet if it doesn't work. 
There's 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 limited crafting options in this game. It's all resource based. You can't waste a bullet. Just ignore that I've missed like half of my shots already, but eh, not half. But you know what? Like they waste a bullet. Where did all the saw like traps, guts, and spooky chests go? Um, yeah, that's it's a little different so far. The the opening linear part was more like that. But this part is, is the more open world sort of sort of part, open level, and it's a little more normal. Alright, fuse box, some guy said. It wasn't here, right? I can't remember who said it. Oh wow, I'm blind. Okay, cool. Four. There we go. Okay, could that have opened the gates for me? I didn't have to climb up, maybe? Let's see. Creaking zombie, cool. Did the first game say that her body was never recovered? Is it, was that a part? I, th I thought it was just not recognizable because she was badly burned, right? It's a clicker, yeah. <laughs> the rest of the stream will be a series of zombie impressions. I hope you hope everyone's excited for that. Oh, uh, what? Okay. It's actually a witch. Yeah, I guess so. Really? Okay, everyone said that it was the red barrel explodes. They were right. What, she just doesn't care? She's like, fuck it, I, I don't give a shit about the explosion. Cool zombies don't look at explosions. <laughs> cool guys don't look at explosions. I love the Lonely Island. They're so good. They're so good. What's your favorite Lonely Island song? Look, I'm a streamer. I'm interacting with chat. What is what is your favorite Lonely Island song, chat? Spring break, spring break's pretty good. Is Great Day the one about cocaine? Kindergarten's pretty good too. You don't know what Lonely Island is? Wow. Lonely Island is um, like the, the joke band from Saturday Night Live with uh, Andy Samberg and the other two guys that I can't remember their names because I'm just terrible. They did like Dick in a Box or I'm on a boat. Like, on a Boat was pretty huge. On a Boat's probably my favorite overall. I love On a Boat. OK, 
Okay, let's try and kill her with stealth, and then when 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 she resists it, we'll drop stealth into stealth again, try and get her again. Do I have an axe? I do have an axe. Maybe the axe will kill her. Maybe we should hit hit the axe. All right, so it was two and four, right? Maybe it's different every single time. It is different. It's, yeah, it is. No, it's not different. Okay, cool. Jizz in my pants is pretty good too. The song, I mean. Is Sandberg's show good? Brooklyn Nine-0 or whatever it's called? That killed her. Cool. Okay, that's it. Okay, so is there something underneath the car? Hatch. Okay, cool. And we can lower this one. It's one of the best comedy shows, is it really? Cool. I think it's on Netflix, so we can watch it, Lily. It might be good. I've seen some clips of it, it's pretty funny. know they were in the simulation what on earth is mobius or if they did know they were lied to by lied to and they, they said it was something else that's weird why would they kill them in the simulation why not just kill them why not just unplug them hmm Okay, doesn't seem like there's any clue on here. Was there a code? I was trying to read chat while that was going on. Was there a code set in the in the audio log there? Union security card. He zombies has it gone. What's this? Some kind of cipher. What? Oh shit. It sounded like someone opened the door somewhere and they ran to it. Like they heard they heard an easier meal. Oh shit. Server connected online. Explosive bolt. Cool, and you can make a trap for yourself. The warhead on this crossbow bolt will violently explode when activated, releasing damaging shrapnel into the surrounding area. You don't want to be near it when it goes off. Okay. Okay. Report. 
disposal request designa designation Ted Sisson. So that's what we just heard. At approximately 2.30, citizen 002-53 union designation Jonathan Stevens entered an unauthorized Mobius area and witnessed sensitive materials. Capture and reprogramming was unfortunately not an option, was forced to institute Zeta-5 emergency measures, requesting disposal unit at union auto repair. Okay, so why is the designation the other guy was Ted? I wish I'd paid more attention to what happened there. Do they have different names? Was that like his real name with his fake name? I wish I'd pay more attention. It's kind of dark. What's going on here? So obviously this isn't as simple as they led, led, led you to believe, which is, you know. That makes sense. Alright, so I see the tripwire. Someone said earlier that you can't disable the tripwires. Is that true? I, th I thought it was just that one. You, you really can't disable tripwires anymore? Really? I can't jump over them either? Okay, that sucks. What? Okay, so he's gonna come alive if I kill someone else, I think. Yeah, that just made another trap appear that I could disarm, so that was kind of weird. Why would they do that? I missed the matches. As janky as it was, I missed the matches. The matches were like a cool added dynamic, you know? It wasn't explained very well, but like I, I really do miss the matches. I have to take a shower and prepare for my own stream, but this is too fun. I want to take a sec take a second to thanks for the stream and the interaction, man. I'll definitely keep an eye out for future streams. Okay, cool. Thanks, Mini Gameros. Thanks for stopping by. Good luck with your stream. Operate. Okay, so that's gonna just raise it up and we can get in there. Oh shit. Subscribe, follow. Oh shit, no. Oh no, I'm scared. Oh, oh, follow. You slept through that? Okay, cool. If I was playing alone in the dark, that would have gotten me. That that would have made me jump. Where does this go? Wait. Oh, okay. I thought it was this would lead back to the beginning and raising it with the forklift it wouldn't matter, but no. Okay, we're here. Handgun bullets. More flour for crafting. These boxes feel too weightless. Yep. Yeah, they are. Dark Souls is ruined of smashing through crates and things forever. Neat. Okay, so we're out here now. All right. Um, so I can, can I open that door downstairs? Let's go look. 
I mean, that's what the key card did, and the key and the key passcode is there just to throw you off a little bit. Okay, I kind of want to kill you, but I don't think you're worth the ammo. I don't know why they did it like this, but those those these two trip wires that you can't disarm are supposed to teach you new mechanics. Maybe, yeah. So the first trip uh, was was like the slowdown part and the first trip wire. And the second one was to show you the next tripwire to make it really obvious. So I guess I guess that makes sense. What? Can I can I crawl under here? One okay, so I need to match his ID with it, I guess, or see where we are. What's on the door? What's on the door? The door is B34. Is that what we do? B. So 96776? 9676? 9676? Yeah, okay. Cool. First aid. Contains medicine that restores a moderate amount of health better than a medical syringe. Cool. More weapon parts as well. So where did these guys go? Maybe they went upstairs. Can I get to this place from somewhere else? I guess we'll find out. Okay. Like in the previous game, I feel like I could have gone through there, but maybe I'm just thinking more as Kidman from the DLC. Okay. Uh, did I miss anything down here, chat? I don't mind. I don't mind some, some, some back seating or whatever. That's fine. Just don't spoil the story. Did I miss anything around here? Oh great! I love The Last of Us. Yep, it's it's basically this is this is The Last of Us too. I got an I got an early copy. I I just I just shill for Naughty Dog now. This is The Last of Us too. Don't tell anybody. I'm streaming it in secret under Evil Within. Yeah, the tripwire. Yeah, it was an explosive bolt. Yeah. Congrats on one K viewers. Thanks. I think it's because um. Uh, Total Biscuit is is about to do something. So. The auto host is bringing a lot of people in. But it's cool, thank you. Normally I have like, I think, uh, two to three hundred by myself, so pretty cool. You found everything that I found when I was there? Okay, cool. Optional. It's a catchy song. Who's the guest this week? Are you ever gonna find Lily Man? Your daughter's waiting for you. Exactly right. It's it's L Ludo Scababib Disco Biscuits. Yep, yep, totally. It's Fallout Four all over again. How long will I be streaming today? Probably another hour or so, I think. I think another hour or so. You have an axe. I want that axe. Okay, there was another one, wasn't there? There were two walking around this area. Where's the other person? in the box. Uh. 
Hey, while there are so many people here, I want to shamefully promote that I will be doing a Mario Odyssey stream on Friday, so same time, so 11 a.m. Eastern to whenever we stop. Um, I'll probably stream all day. It'll probably be a really long stream on Friday. So there's my si shameful, shameful, cringy, oh my god, I can't believe he just did that promotion for Friday if you want to see me play some Odyssey. What a sellout. But it's okay because I'm ironically acknowledging it, so that makes it all okay. It's cool if you acknowledge it. I know, right? I know. Will I play Wolfenstein? Uh, I might play Wolfenstein. I, I haven't played Wolfenstein. That's half half of the fun of streaming is that I can I can I can uh, I can play all these games that I've missed. <laughs> Speaking of Wolfenstein, um, so I can um, so I can catch up on some things. Yeah, I, ha I haven't played any of the new Wolfenstein's. Speaking of Wolfenstein, that was funny. Oh shit. Oh, you're still alive. Okay, no you're not. Ad block can't work when the streamer is the ad. Ah, and tap, tap, tap my temple. Yep, you're right. You're right. Can't work. Good point. Good point. This is gonna go well. Oh, we're okay. We're okay. Fuck. One hundred percent intentional. One hundred percent intentional. Complete. Completely intentional. Pro. Calculated. Calculated. Oh, I got. My, I got a spare axe too. Calculated. Hopefully that did the trick. To set this on fire too. There are probably a lot of creative solutions in the environment that I'm missing. Maybe there's there's a lot more there's more fun ways to, to get through a lot of this this stuff. Just like um, prey was like that too. Axe is the best weapon. Yeah. Okay, so viewers just went down, so I'm guessing that the podcast started. That was kind of cool. There's some people here. That was nice. Hey, 300 is, is, is way more than I usually get, so I'm happy with 300. I think we were about 300 before the hosting, so I'm, I'm fuck, I'll, I'll take that. I'm happy with that. I have no idea what's gonna happen once, once we link this to YouTube. Like I don't like is like I like it could go either way. There could be like a lot of people show up, or there could be hardly anyone. Like, wh whoever really really cares about stuff like that is probably already following me on Twitter and has seen all of the all of the tweets about the streams and everything. So maybe it won't be a big deal, but but who knows? There might be a lot of people. So we are back now. <laughs> That's pretty funny. The Evil Within 2 is just a nightmare that you can't leave. You can never get away. Do you shampoo before soap or soap before shampoo? You shampoo before soap because you, you have to shampoo before soap because if you if you wash your hair last, then all all like whatever the dirt and grime that's in your hair is gonna run down you. And if you cleaned yourself already, then you're just making yourself dirty again. So yeah, you you, you totally like you wash yourself from from hair to toes, right? 
that's how you wash yourself. You know, there's, there's a little bit of wiggle room. You know, you, you can wash your hair and then just wash the rest of you as you go. This is, you don't have to be that methodical about it. But yeah, that's, that's totally how you do it, right? Who washes their, their hair last? I think all the people coming here for the interaction I do, and since people won't get that on YouTube, I'm guessing it won't get a ton of attention. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I, I'm, I'm curious how it's going to go. But it's this is already going well without it being linked on YouTube, so it's pretty good. And I'm enjoying it too, so there's, there's this whole other bonus to this for me. That I, I really, really, really enjoy it. Okay, so... What's your, what's your story, Spooky Warehouse? The flashlight just automatically turned on there. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Ooh, green goo. You've been doing it wrong your whole life? Really? Do people shampoo last? You can't shampoo last. I know a lot of women don't wash their hair every time they have a shower, right? Oh, invisible guys? Because it's too much work. If you have, a, I guess, I guess guys with long hair that that would have the same thing. It's it's just so much work to. Uh, it's a commitment. So if you're not, if you're showering every single day, then maybe you don't wash your hair every single day. Kick over oil drum. Okay, so is the door gonna open now? We're gonna. What's happening here? Milk before cereal or cereal before milk? Well, the cereal goes in first, then the milk goes in. But if you want the dark souls of cereal experiences, then you put the cereal in first and then... You, sorry, then you put the milk in first, then you put the cereal in. That's the dark souls of, of cereal. Milk, then cereal. Good luck. Good luck with that. Okay, can we open this door? No. Okay, so... Maybe we're gonna go in and there's gonna be spooky, spooky invisible guy. Wait, what? Do I just light it on fire? That's that's what I'm supposed to do? No. Okay, I just wasted my opportunity now. Do I press E? Am I being dumb right now? Am I being dumb? Am I being dumb right now? Or, or like, that, that seems breakable to me. You go here later, I'm too early? That's kind of shit. That's kind of shit, but okay. Okay, someone said to go to the church in a side area on the church, and there was I think there was ladders behind that door that I didn't go up. So let's let's go and check this out. Yeah, down here. Yeah, it's milk last. It's milk last. You, you, you put the cereal in the milk last. Like, it, like the, the milk's gonna just go splashing everywhere if you put put the milk in first. Lily likes dry cereal. Is that what she's saying in chat? Lily likes dry cereal. And sometimes I like dry cereal a little bit too lately, but bef before that I, I always liked milk with cereal. Okay, we didn't go up here. Is a corn dog a popsicle? Um, I don't think so. I mean, you can still suck on the corn dog, right? If you want to get your intentions made clear, but I don't think it's a popsicle. Why 
what percent milk do you use? Two percent, one percent skim soy almond. Uh, for a while, we were using not f completely full fat milk, but close to that because that's what babies need when they go over to cow's milk. So we were just using that for a while. I think now we're at two percent. Babies need as much fat as possible for brain development. Or so the doctor says. I like how he pulls the knife out before you're in range. That's kind of a neat touch. What is dry cereal? Like, just, like, taking, like, Cheerios out of the box, putting them in a bowl, or bowl, you know, bowl optional, and just, yeah, just, just eating it dry. Broken sniper rifle. The body of the sniper rifle is badly damaged. With the proper parts, it could be repaired, but the previous owner is no longer able to say where those might be found. Barrel's toast, but the rest of it looks okay. Need to find some parts to fix it. Go to the right side street from the church. I think it's the house that's highlighted highly green on the map with the north one from it. Okay. Mobius communicator log replacement parts. Keating, we're on the roof of the building next to the visitor center. I blew out the barrel of the sniper rifle. Need replacement parts stat. McCoy says the parts are in the supply shed across from Union Auto Repair. That's all the way up in the northwest corner of town. It's right on the edge of the break. Come on, man. I don't care where they are. Bring them to me before these things find their way up here. Shit, man. Why do I always get the dangerous jobs? Yeah, people don't talk like that. I've got a bad feeling about this. I've got a bad feeling about this. Lily. Why does Goofy stand erect while Pluto remains on all floors? Uh, on all fours? Uh, I don't have a PhD, so I can't answer that. How long does bacon fat keep in a fridge? Like if I want to replace butter for my eggs? I have no idea. Okay, can I open the store yet? I thought the stairs would open that. No. Okay, let's check the map. Uh, it's been a while since I hard saved, right? How much how much goo do I have? Mm. Oh, whatever. We'll just keep going. There are checkpoints, right? All right, so side street, rogue signal. Okay. Can I get over here? Is this the house where I started? Did I miss something over here? Maybe if I go back... No, I can't go back there because it's broken, right? Okay, so let's go to the rogue signal. A new tutorial has been added. Stealth and sneak kills. Opening doors. Double tap to kick open. Yep. Workbenches. Kicking oil drums. Using wooden crossbow. Field crafting. Coffee makers. Hmm. 
How do you feel about head-on combat in the game so far? Um, I don't think you're supposed to do it, so they didn't really develop it that much. Like, I think if I sat here and I and I put some points in the melee combat and I and I practice, I could probably get it down, but it'd still be pretty tedious. The way he stops after sprinting is a little inconsistent. Sometimes he slides. It's it's a little weird. Probably because his his base movement speed is so much slower than his sprint. Like it's it's like it's so it's so weird. Get down there, right? What? You're not going. You know how to use the computer to get down there, right? What? You're not going with me? No time. I'm heading to the auto body shop to get some supplies. Meet me at the visitor center when you're done. The visitor center? Why? I told the survivors I found earlier to go there and hide out. I need to take care of them now, while they're still scared citizens. Ooh. Easier to kill them before they turn into those things. Good thinking. A new signal. James, where the fuck are you? Get your ass to the visitor center. You're never gonna believe. Visitor center it is. Okay, so that was another area that we didn't have the quest for yet, I guess. What's your fave pew pew game? Can you give me some examples of some pew pew games? Goats, wait, what? This computer's still working. What? What the? Yeah, I agree. Is that the way out? No, it's not. Hold on. What the fuck is this? <clears throat> the Marrow Armory. What? Is this like... The scene in the Matrix where they like, have all this stuff appear around them and they can get all their guns and they can pick it? Is this what this is? Secret armory? Secret infested armory? Hmm. Okay, not on the map at all. Okay, cool. Wait, what? What's that? Safe house? Is that not supposed to be there? That's a glitch that's that's there. Otherwise this place is huge. Do you speak another language? No, I wish I, I wish I did, but I, I don't. You know, the ones that go pew pew like Red Faction or Half-Life or Fallout. Um my favorite shooter overall? I don't I don't really like shooters all that much. I would probably say the first Halo on PC. That's 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 the shooter I've had the most fun with. Or, like, Goldeneye on N64, but that's, like, I hadn't played a PC shooter before that. So, yeah, something like that. Time for a game within the game? Yeah, it seemed like that, didn't it? How many times do you feel Sebastian has pronounced the words what the during this game yet? Probably at least four, right? Probably at least four. See, this looks like you're going to fight a boss on the way out of here. Must be a haunted armory. Yeah, it's a haunted armory, all right. Um, can someone tell someone tell me what time it is? Was that a witch? Okay, I have an axe, don't I? I think I have an axe. We're gonna find out if I have an axe. Didn't spawn the knife again. Yeah, we did. Cool. It's spook o'clock. Okay, we're probably gonna go for another hour, I think. Another hour, maybe. Yeah, another hour, and then we'll be done. It's th three twenty. Okay, let's let's go for about about four four thirty. Let's go go about there. 
and then we'll call it and then we'll continue playing tomorrow um i don't it doesn't look good for finishing this game in the next three days at all so i don't know what we're gonna do T take a break after odyssey i guess for odyssey i guess yeah, i don't know how that's gonna go i think it's really important to play odyssey on, on release day i think that would be fun I got it. I don't know if any of you saw the the test stream I did last night for about ten minutes, but I got it working. I was having some problem tro problems with the sound. Like I could get the stream dev sound on the switch, but not me. And then I and then I fixed it. So I got that all set up. We have to bring the TV in here and set it up on the desk, but that's that's okay. What is Odyssey? The new Mario game, or Mario? The new Mario game. Okay. 420 blaze it, 420 end it. <laughs> I missed a hole in that room. Wait, in the room I just came, this one? Or you mean that one? Yeah, I, I, I just came back to see if I'd missed anything before. I think that's the way to go, right? Is, is the hole in the floor. So what full-size candy bars are you handing out this year instead of being a monster and insult children everywhere? We're not handing out anything this year because we never get trick-or-treaters. We should probably get some just in case, but like no one has ever knocked on our door, ever. In the like decade that we've lived here, no one has ever knocked on our door. We just don't get many in our building. Mario. I should probably find like 20 different ways to pronounce Mario and say it different every time on Friday. More candy for me. I'm not really into candy. I had two, I had two biscuits earlier because I didn't want to eat a big meal on, 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 on stream. But I'm not really big into candy. Broken fuse boxes can be powered momentarily by shock firing a shock bolt from the warm crossbow into them. Okay, cool. All right, so let's try and do that soon. But what's this over here? Use WS to adjust the height and AD to adjust the width of the green wave until it matches the red one. Okay, is this the optional way? Yeah, it is. Cool. All right. Shotgun, nice. Nice. I'll take it. <sighs> Too bad about your head, bro. I'm sorry. Okay, so we'll, it says temporarily, but is that is that just enough to open the door and that's it? It'll stay open now? Oh, are we just here? What a waste of a bolt, shit. That's annoying. Okay, did I miss anything in here? At least we know how to do it. I'm sure I'll, I will forget that later on and uh, get stuck.
Ooh. Synced animations. in the elevator what are you guys guarding probably nothing let's see this one feels a lot less terrifying than the first only one huge buzzsaw monster so far yeah i think it's because you can set the pace so like you have the big open area and, and you can just go wherever you want it's very it's very different very 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 different i don't know if it's better yet i'm not sure What do you guys think? If you like people who have played both of them, did you prefer one or two? Missed the statue in the elevator. Oh, did I? Okay, going back, going back, going back. Fast zombies or slow zombies? I think that like, in, in, as a gameplay mechanic, they're better fast. They're 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 more enjoyable fast. But like conceptually, I think I prefer slower zombies. I think slower zombies are better. I would be interested in seeing how a game, shit, a game could make slow zombies work that days gone game looks to have massive hordes and that would be the way to do it but i think they're fast in that game aren't they see joe if you had the ambush perk perk you could tr just trigger a zombie run and hide behind a corner and insta kill it when it comes around can you really like they can be alerted and you can still get them as long as you're around the corner wow that's that's really strong okay i think we're done cool it breaks the game hmm So these are just pretty load screens. Do you stand up and wipe or do it while sitting down? Sitting down. Sitting down. Kind of a personal question, but, but, but you know, sitting down. It's the second time that's happened, isn't it? See, they made it so stealth is so powerful and that you can reset enemies because they want you running away because it's a horror game, so you're constantly running away from them. It makes sense. It makes sense. Great game design. Great game feel. Great game feel. Oh, you see me? You've seen me? Let's use the shotgun. We haven't used the shotgun yet. Uh, three. What? Okay, so she hit me the same time I hit her because I blew her arm off. Back here, shit. Why don't you have webcam anymore? I still have it, I just, I'm more comfortable with it off and I don't think it adds much to the streams. 
Plus, the way that we're set up right now, you'd like see a bunch of mess. Well, it's not mess. But like, you'd, you'd see a bunch of shit behind me. I'm surprised you've died this little on Nightmare. I wonder what casual or normal is like. Um, I think I've died quite a bit. I'm not very good at shooting. I don't know why. Actually, I can't remember the last time I played a shooter with a with mouse and keyboard. I'm just rusty. When was the last time? Maybe, maybe Rise. Maybe Rise of the Tomb Raider was the last time I did a run with uh, with mouse and keyboard. <laughs> okay, can we leave the other way? No. Okay, so let's open this slowly. Cool. Why are they making a pile? That's weird. Shit, she's a friend. She is a friend. Cool axe throw there. That was fun. Every third person game I've played has way harder aiming, but it always feels a lot better to hit. Maybe. I wanted the axe, goddammit. Yeah, you might you might be onto something there. Okay, let's go save, get some coffee, and then we'll do our last excursion out, and then we'll, um, and then we'll call the stream, I think, so. One last run around. I have to go to the visitor center, right? So we'll go save, upgrade, whatever we need to upgrade, and then we'll go to the visitor center and see what's in there. It looks like to be the end of the storyline for, uh, the two recon guys, I think. Do you put your pants on first, or your shirt? Um... I don't think I have a system. Maybe it's whatever I find first. These are weird questions, by the way. These are weird questions. Good coffee. All right, do you have anything Tell to say? No. So what are you just doing? You're just doing nothing the whole time? You're just chilling, waiting for excursion? That's what you said? That's that's all you're doing? Hmm. Okay, crafting. Let's get some more bullets. Oh. Shotgun. Same thing. Let's get some more shotgun shells then. Let's get three. And handgun bullets. We have quite a lot of those. Is there no inventory limit on bullets now? No, there is. 20, 26. Sorry, I thought that, that... I don't know why I derped there. Yeah, that, that's what it is. Never mind. Ignore me, I'm tired. Thick. <laughs> Do you think less games should have crafting systems? Mm, I don't know. Whoa, what the fuck? What's with the dark line? I don't know, I th games have exploration, they want you to, to find things while you're running around exploring, right? So that's just an easy way to reward exploration. Let's have some things that you can find. Okay, what do they do? Okay, you make some, like you make stuff with it, so. It's, it's not bad, it's okay. 
It's just a cliche to make fun of it, you know? 5,000, cool. All right, so what are we upgrading? More stealth? We seem to be doing quite well with stealth. More stealth, fa even faster while crouched. Sneak kill, let's do that. That sounds pretty good. Sneak kills from corners. Space, cover near a wall. Sneak kill when sneak kill icon is displayed. When you are in cover on a corner, you can perform a sneak kill on an enemy that is around the corner. The enemy must be in the center of the screen for the, excuse me, for the sneak kill to icon to appear. You cannot perform a sneak kill if the enemy is aware of you. Ooh, maybe it's bugged. Maybe it's bugged. Do we want to move even faster? I think I think we want to move even faster. Let's just let's just commit. We're, 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 we're committing to the stealth tree. We're committing to the stealth tree. Let's just do it. That's pretty good. Let's go for that one next. Let's go for that one next, and then we'll, and then we'll do something else. So we need we need thirteen thousand, I think, or twelve thousand, whatever it was. Soon Sebastian will be able to run a marathon while crouching. He'll actually be faster crouching than the run speed. Aware of you just means line of sight. Okay. Opinion on calzones? No strong opinion. I'm I'm neutral on calzones. I think. Calzone is like a pizza pocket for grown-ups, right? I don't think I've ever had one. Don't go. Is this meant for me? How old was Lily when she died? Lily was, like she looked to be about six or seven and it's 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 been a while, right? It hasn't been like 10 years, but it's been a while. How old is she gonna be? Have you ever traveled to another country? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I, I wasn't born in the country that I'm in right now. I've been to Britain, Canada, United States, France, and Spain. But that's not as fancy as it sounds because, you know, when, when you're in Britain, you know, you're so close to Europe already. I hope at max speed level, Sebastian just goes full dog mode. <laughs> uh, I've played Neo, yep. Yep, not the whole thing, but I've played it. It was pretty good. A country I like to visit? I like to visit the US again. Because I was young when I went. Um, I like to go to Greece and Italy. Work. Him again. Him again. I can get you out of here. Look, man, just let me go. I can take you somewhere safe. We've got supplies. Stick with me. I can get you out of here. Safe. What's interesting about safe? Why would I want to leave here? This place is a work in progress, but soon it will be perfect. All it requires is my inspiration and your blood. What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Don't move. Oh shit! Oh shit! Help! Somebody help me! I said don't move. No. Cool. I really like these things. These Tough are luck, really Ryan. cool. Tough luck, Ryan. The camera rigged to take a picture of the victim. This is supposed to be art, more like an execution. Huh. Another communicator. Must be Ryan's. Huh. 
Mobius team members. They might have something useful on them. I rigged my communicator to pick up U Unity chip signals. I managed to find locations for the rest of the security team, what's left of them anyway. They'll have supplies, and it's not like they need them anymore. All of these chips are broadcasting from dead brains. Ooh. Locations of fall fallen Mobius operatives have been added to the map. Press tab to view. How many are there? Oh, shit. Maybe I... Oh, is that what I found when it, when it gives a little animation? I already found some of them? Okay. All right, I understand. At least I think I did. I didn't realize this was Tomb Raider. Yeah, it is kind of like Tomb Raider. You're right. Will you go to Japan and review Daki Makuras? What? Waifu pillow things? Um, no. <laughs> no. No. Five hour video on pillow things. Me and Mandalore were speaking about them the other day. I don't know why we were speaking about them. I think we're just talking about anime and uh, and how a lot of anime is, is, is made just to sell those body pillows. And he linked me a site and like it. it was it was I thought it was like some weird kind of like he linked me a site that the has 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 the pillows and I thought it was like some weird like Japanese kind of like softcore porn site thing that they sold it but like no that's that's all they sold were the pillow coverings that's all they sold I was like what that's crazy ooh fancy so this was a side quest, right? Because I'm supposed to go to where um, Lily is broadcasting, right? The hell is this supposed to be? Sick. Kind of looks like grown-up Lily. Maybe. Oh shit, I can use the stealth kill in the corner, can it? No, too late, too late, too late, too late, too late. Joe, what? Joe, what? what's people saying to me? Opinions on Aragon Eldest. I don't know that series. I've never. That's that's a. Um, it was a book and they got turned to a movie, right? I, I don't know that series. I'm signing off for today. Thanks for the enjoyable stream, man. This was my first time stumbling upon you here on Twitch, but I will definitely be around in the future. Have a nice day, everyone. Thanks to Deathcon. Have a good day. Joe, hey, Flexen. Senpai has noticed you again. How's it going? Oh, what the fuck? Why did he do that? Okay, come here, zombie. Come here, zombie. There's a good zombie. I want to do the corner stealth takedown. No. Wow, I move so much faster now. Holy shit. That's so good. It could be grown up, Lily. Time travel slower in there, right? Um, well, her, ima her Im image of herself might be older, but she's not going to be older in the real world, but her image might be older. That's actually kind of, that's kind of sick. Um, yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Why are you moving so slowly, Sebastian? Cool. This is obscene. I mean, yeah, obscene. Not cool at all. Favorite YouTube channels? Oh, there's so many, so many different weird. YouTube channels. Even for this place, O'Neill's safe house is right there. Might as well give him the bad news about his entourage face to face. Okay, did I miss anything in there? Did I miss a statue or anything? 
Um, so like for not let's go with non gaming channels because that would be easier. Um, I really like um, prim primitive technology. That's probably my favorite. Whenever that guy uploads something, I watch it. Uh, I think it was I think we were discussing Mike Boyd recently or, or Mark Boyd. I can't remember his name properly. Where he teaches tries to teach himself things. We were talking about that guy the other day, and he's he's pretty good. I like the, I like his channel. Um, my fit and my favorite video game channel overall is probably B Tongue, even though he doesn't make videos that often. Coffee machines. Ooh. Did you find them? They're dead. But after what I saw, you're better off without them around. They were planning on killing everybody in here. An alpha one emergency, huh? Can't say it's the worst idea I've heard. You're a real piece of work, O'Neill. You know that? I'm just being a realist. You can't save everybody. It's impossible. Mobius made emergency plans for a reason. If they never made this twisted machine, they wouldn't need emergency plans in the first place. Maybe so. But look at what they've done. It's pretty incredible. Still a company man after all this, huh? What have they done? Loyalty pays off for you in the end. Because right now, it seems like they don't give a shit about you. What do you mean? They sent you in here, didn't they? Sorry, I didn't mean to make you angry. Here. I made some more of these for you. For your troubles. Lots of weapon parts. Tell me. Tell me. Hmm. Like, what's, what's, like, I know they're trying to do mind control, but we don't know that, right? And neither does he, so. What's the point? Alright, what weapon upgrades are we gonna go with? Probably, probably handgun still. Increased probability of inflicting critical damage when shooting at an easy weak point. Ooh, okay, let's get that. That's good, let's get that. And, um, 140%? Maybe we want to upgrade something else instead. Shotgun. Firepower on the shotgun. Oh, wow, that's a, that's not very good. I feel like the harpoon gun isn't as good in this one because we can't... It's harder to make the ammo for it. Wait, what? Hang on level three. Why is it saying handgun? Just a glitch? Why is it saying handgun? Fuck it, let's just use them. Let's just use them. Fuck it, man. Let's just use it. They get more expensive because they want you to probably spread out over the different different uh, weapons and stuff. They want to be able to get you low, low tier options. That's cool. Okay. So let's save it and let's go back out. And then that'll be the last time we go out and then we'll call the stream after that. So girl's voice. Computer, we did that already. So we have to go up here. And I think there's a couple houses around here that we haven't haven't looked into yet. Let's go get this. So handgun bullets, fallen Mobius operative. Okay.
Okay, is he in the shed? Shed hype. What? Gonna slide away? No. Is there much setup to stream Switch console games? Uh, a fair amount. I got it working. It's it, it was a lot more seamless than I thought because the OBS just takes it straight from the Elgato thing, the capture card. And I thought I would have to run them both at the same time, but no, it's the OBS is capable of accessing it. So that's cool. So yeah, but um, I have to move. I can't get sound from the Switch on my headphones at the same time as you guys get it. Um, so I'm going to have to move the TV in here because the TV has a headphone jack and uh, that's that's kind of a pain but you know I'm not I'm probably not gonna make a habit of of um, streaming switch games anyway does he move faster crouch now than they just standing up Uh, we went in there. That's where the bushes were, where we got a stealth call on one of the, one of the zombies. Okay, let's keep going. Did we go in there? Looks locked. Anyway, okay, this is where we have to come back for a quest later. So let's keep going. The original Evil Within, also known in Japan as Psycho Break, is played in a 21-9 scale, but now the sequel is played in 16-9 screen. Is it called Psycho Break in uh, in Japan? That's a better name. I like that better. I think that's a better name. What do you guys think about that? Is that a better name? Evil Within isn't bad either, I don't think. Oh, now we can climb a fence. We think a Psycho Shock instead of Prey. Would that have been a better name? Why don't you stream single player Hearthstone? <laughs> Kind of split on which one's better. Yeah, it just could be grass is greener, right? Oh, psycho break. That sounds new and interesting. This zombie's moving like he just stole something. He doesn't want someone to see it. Trying to shoot the Molotov, couldn't. What? Okay. I deserve to die there. I deserve to die. I deserve to die. I'm bad. Oh, sorry, just stretching. Geico break would have been better. Okay, so this is probably scripted, right? Once I go in here, those guys spawn.
congrats, you played yourself. Okay, let's see if we can stealth kill him. So F when he comes over here. No. No, he's too smart. He's one of those smart zombies. Evil within too, f evil within too fast, too furious. The reckoning premium edition. Damn, that was scary. Scary door. Spooky door. So, the whole fire hydrant thing, can I do that too? If I shoot a fire hydrant or if I hit a fire- ooh, statue. Can I- can I make my own puddle to electrify zombies with? Or was that just something that was scripted? I wonder if I can do that for the truck over here. Is there a fire hydrant nearby? Doesn't look like it actually, Never mind. But th there must be something in here that's worth it, right? Oh, how's it going, zombie? Okay, let's do... Okay, they're all going to jump out before it's done. So... Let's put it... Let's put it here. Okay, there it is. Alright, so let's try this. Can I reload? No. Yeah, I can. Okay, so let's, let's open and run away into the landmine and see if they follow. Dead. That wasn't too bad. I, I did get hit, but that, that wasn't too bad. How many syringes am I up to? I'm up to max. Let's just use one. The coffee maker's probably open by now. Let's use one. Med kit. Okay, the med, med kits don't give you more health after you use them in this one, do they? Shit, what a waste of a syringe. Well, let's find out. Because it's here, and I'm going to forget to get it. No, they don't. Okay. What a waste of a syringe. Oh, well. Enjoying the game so far? Yep, yeah, it's pretty good. We've been making fun of it a bit as, as the stream's gone on, but it's pretty good.
Okay, there was um, a signal I got, but then I died and I lost it. So let's go over there and see what that's all about. I hear a zombie. Where is it? Oh, there he is. Hey Joe, maybe I'm misunderstanding that, but you said the other day that when you're going to play the game twice, first playthrough would be on stream and second off stream, wouldn't it make more sense the other way around? Yeah, a lot of people say that that wouldn't make sense the other way around, but no. Uh, the way that I look at games is that um, I do way, I, I make way more worthwhile observations and notes on my second time through. So f first impressions do matter, of course, but I, I, make, I make way more, um, I get way more out of the second run than I do the first run. And it's more fun to do the, to do the first run on, on stream. I think you know, we we can all play together and we can all wonder out loud what's 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 happening. And those who have played it get to be like, ooh, I wonder how he's gonna handle this part. Okay, so as he comes at me, I should be able to stealth kill him, right? That's what someone said. No, he's fucked off. Okay. And I'm drunk. Sorry, that's okay. What do you value more, unconditional love or pizza, popcorn, coke? Unconditional love, obviously. If such a thing even exists. Ooh. Ooh. I wonder if the game had base building and they cut it out. They're like, nah, it's too video gamey. That's not scary. Who made the picture of the dragon? Uh, I don't know. It's it's a royalty free image, um, but it'll it'll be a different dragon soon. That's not the dragon forever. Zombies. A lot of zombies. Oh no, I woke them up. Face on her back? Why does she have face on her back? Yeah, for a game focused on stealth, there don't seem to be many takedown animations for it. Wasn't there one more? Maybe not.
How's the sequel? It's it's okay. Uh, so far, I think I might prefer the first one, but it's all right. It's not it's not a bad game. Okay, why would we want to come up here? Maybe that's not what it's for. Why why are you here? Oh damn, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty OP. That's pretty OP. So she, she was in an alert, but she didn't know where I was exactly. So maybe that's the difference. Maybe that's the difference. Yeah, I'm just surprised by how long I've been in this one area for. Like, I'm taking my time, but I'm, I'm really surprised by how long this is taking. Not not in a in a bad way. Like, definitely not in a bad way. But I'm I'm surprised that it's there's this much to do in this first area. All right, th this must do something. No, it doesn't do anything. I don't think we can jump up there. No. What the fuck was this for? I don't understand. It's meant to make you feel like you're going crazy? Some useless shit? also this house I can go into, I think. Spooky car. What's your story, spooky car? What, what, what? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting this done in time for for Odyssey on Friday. That's a shame. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to do Odyssey stream maybe Friday, Saturday, and then and then do this, and then um, Resident Evil Seven on Halloween, and then it, we might we still might not be done this. So that kind of sucks. What the fuck is going on in there? What is all that shit? What? Okay, let's go. What? Is it just a glitch of the light on the window? Has to be. Spooky house. The spooky car is quiet. Too quiet. <gasps> the odds of us getting through the spooky car are a thousand to one. Never tell me the odds. Yeah, we're gonna go in there. That's that's for a quest. I'm pretty sure it's it's a glitch. Y yeah, it's the it was the blinds. The blinds were showing up. That's weird, huh? The blinds. Yeah, it was the blinds. Okay. Uh, do we have a do we have an axe? No, we don't. Oh shit. How, how are we how are we gonna kill witch without an axe? We've never done it before. Is a shotgun blast as much damage as an axe? We're gonna find out. Okay. I think I 
might have not got a full hit for the first time. So maybe it is. Maybe it is. What difficulty is this on? It's on the hardest one, Nightmare. There might be one after that that unlocks. But yeah, it's on Nightmare. Cool. Handgun ammo pouches. I like that you can find them in, in the world. That's neat. Okay. I think there's a, a shotgun shell that I missed that I can get now that I used one. After we do this room, I think we're or this house we're gonna we're gonna call the stream. I'll go back to the to the to the hospital or no the um the the, the police station and we'll save. Ooh, we're gonna get spooked. It's spooks giving. Spooky lamp. Spooky lamp. Spooky. Spooky weeping angel. Here we go. We're gonna get spooked. Ready? Ready for the spook? Oh my god, so spooky. So spooky. Behind the door. No spook. Oh, spooky diary. Alright. Alright. Oh, even he's spooked. Look, 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 look. He's like, holy shit, what's going on? Spooky, spooky. Oh, spooky chairs. Woman's journal, the fire, final entry of this diary penned in an unsteady hand. There's something in this house with me. I can't see it, but I sense its presence. I don't think I want to see it. I can hear those horrible things outside. They're everywhere. I'm afraid to go out there, but I'm afraid to stay in here too. I'm shivering, but it's not from fear. Why did it get so cold all of a sudden? It's freezing. Spooky. We're getting spooked. We're gonna get a frightened. Zombies and ghosts. Damn, I wonder how. Why is this place haunted? Why is this place haunted? Oh, that's all the time we have for today, guys. I'll see see you next time. We'll find out why the, why the house is haunted. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Ooh. Isn't that the girl with the heads that we saw in the jar? What the fuck is happening? Sebastian. coming for me. I gotta get out of here. Just one more house until we're done, he said. How long could it be, he said. That's kind of cool that the, these, these teleport you other places. You have no idea what you're getting into when you go into the house. Oh shit, she just went straight through the door. Okay, can... Can we kill her? Can we kill her? I don't know how many people play this game in chat. Can we kill her? No? Okay. So I'm not even gonna try. Ghost confirmed. Wait, is there a map? No, map data unavailable. There's gotta be some way to get out of here. Yeah, definitely can't kill her. Some people were asking in chat. Definitely. Bullets aren't doing shit. Oh no. Oh no, we need a key card.
spooky ghost. Spooky ghost. What? This might get me out of here. That's us. Is that Lily? There's no way that's oh shit, I could have gone through there the whole time. Fuck man. I'm blind. Just imagine that. No, that was. What was that thing? Was that real or all in my mind? Well, we're 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 in a simulation of people's minds, Sebastian. You know that. It's, you know what? I'm just we're just we're just not even gonna bother. We're just not even gonna bother. We're just not even gonna bother. We're just not. We're just not gonna address it. Uh, okay, so that's something else we can use it at, at the police detective, at the, at, the, at the police station. Okay, let's go back to the safe place, and then we're gonna call the stream. You're gonna see her a lot now. Good luck. Ooh. Like even when I close the game down. I'm scared. Hey zombie. How's it going zombie? Ooh, you're one of those climbing zombies. Sorry if you can hear the kid crying, by the way. He's being a little loud right now. Okay, so we can go... We can follow this road all the way to the, to the, to the thing, I think. Oh, I know where we are. Okay, at least I think I know where we are. Yep, so we're going to be ending as soon as I get to the save point. So if anyone has any questions for the end of the stream, please ask them now. But um, I think we're a little over time already. So we'll be continuing this tomorrow, but I'm hoping to have a video out tomorrow. But that'll be for patrons, so the other video will be out for Thursday. So I have quite a bit of work to do. So it might be a sh shorter stream tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, no, let's just save it. Let's just save it. Can we drink some coffee? Coffee? Coffee, coffee, coffee. Okay, coffee and save, and then we'll be done. Can you play the Hitman games? Oh, I could. I've never played them before, apart from just a little, just trying them out. Whoa, was that a real dream or just a double dream? Yeah, exactly. Cuphead, are you coming? I don't think I'm going to do a review on Cuphead. I went back and forth on it so much, I don't think we're doing Cuphead. Maybe I'll play it again and see. It won't take very long to play through Cuphead again. Alright, thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you guys. I'll see you all tomorrow. Um, I shouldn't say guys. It's so stereotypical. Um, everyone. Thank you, everyone. And uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. Same time. More Evil Within 2. See you later. <laughs>